Raise your fist in the air. 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 Okay. Raise your fist in the air. 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 All right. Yo, what is going on, everybody? We are here today with some more Out of War. Oh, today is just going to be a probably a lot of rage. I don't, I don't like building on stream. I really don't. But it's a necessity because we have to. So <laughs> we are here. And uh, what was our last stream? New Year's? Yeah, last stream was New Year's. So we are, we are back. Sorry for the delay. I wanted to pop out some videos real quick and uh, get it moving on. So yeah, dudes, we're here. What's up? Come on in the chat. Say what's up, guys. Jamie, Snippy, Kyle, Ryan, and Mark. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure, a lot of you guys have probably watched the videos. So, yeah. Go and take a look at the mine site real quick here. And what we're going to be doing for the day. Okay, yes. We have pretty much cleared out all the garbage that you guys saw. All the meme stuff we got rid of our temporary build on the upper bench. We're going to be changing that all around as well as we put in a lot of this new structure here, which is all, I don't know if I explained it quite well in the videos, but I ended up, I guess I have to go sky, super sky. Let's go, go real high here. So as you can tell, the mind is now squared off, right? Cause these were at an angle. Cause I built, I followed the build here of the wall and that was wrong i didn't want that to begin with but like i said when i was first building i remember on stream i was like ah, it's all temporary i'll probably blow it all up at some point make some content out of it and uh 
Good to go. Hey, what's up, Vars? But uh, yeah, dudes, like it's it's coming along. I stopped the benching for the time because if you, if you think about it, by the time I build the rest of the structure around here, my mind sight is insane. How big the, the how far we're gonna be able to go down, right? So and if you think of how much work is actually in here per bench and the benches are gonna get bigger as we go down deeper and narrow because I have to keep adding the, the, I have to keep the access ramp in here. It's just, it's a lot of work a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of work so we're gonna we're obviously gonna take this wall out we're just gonna keep i think we're gonna keep the mine site this size here for now i don't know if i want to go all the way up in here because it's just insane like to i mean moving it all is not insane because you can just use the nukes now but even that you're still looking at you know 30 to 50 hours just playing with the nukes and that does get a little annoying Playing with Draymite and all that stuff like that, it's all, it all is equally time killing. Whether you're in the dozers, whether you're in the front end loaders, it's all time, 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 time. But so that that we you people keep saying there's no content in this game. There's tons of actual. Well, you, these type of games are hard for content. You you make your own content when it comes to these digging style games. So. No, I, I agree, but disagree at the same time with, with those when people say stuff like that, because you put your workload on yourself and I've put myself in about three to 500 hours in this mine, probably, probably just to get down to this bench level down here, my third bench. So we're looking 300 hours probably in here alone. I, I don't even know. I can't even, I can't even do the, the calculation of roughly how long it's going to take me to move all this out with the heavy equipment. Now, if I use Draymite, it's going to be really fast. Or if I use a nuke, but I don't want to do that, right? So I just want to get the top surface off and it's going to be crazy how much time that's going to take. But there is absolutely a ridiculous amount of coring out we're going to have to do and possibly, you know, make a mine underground. I don't know. There's so much stuff, right? But for now, we're focused on building the structure today and not moving. Like, I don't even have a plant up and running, so... Yo, what's up? Christian, how's it going, buddy? This is uh, Jen, Wesley. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. But yeah, there's there's hundreds of hours of stuff to do here. There's 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 hundreds and hundreds of hours, right? Now, for the, my, my progression is definitely the building. Like, I need to put in a final point here to get this running. And the reason why I built it a little bigger oversized is because I'm going to be running the belts underneath. So I still have headroom. Right, so we still have the headroom, and I can still put my plant in here and hide it. And if I want to run, if I want to run a super stacked, like I guess before it's fixed, I'll, I want to leave myself the room to stack in the sorters so we can run gold and make gold roads or things like that. Right, for more meme content down the road. But today we're going to be widening out the tunnel and encasing the tunnel and then probably doing this archway right here this was going to be a lot as well as probably dozing the other side depending on how long i stream for today so we have two roads we have the upper road he's reworking that's right i saw that too <laughs> i saw that too i was like okay yeah we're gonna keep it simple let's get rid of all this other stuff but so we got it we're gonna be reworking the road and we're going to be putting in the under for the first bench. So we'll be able to drive up the road up to the upper part of the plant. And then we're going to be doing the lower access through here in the tunnel. So that way we can, uh, we don't have to like jump our equipment off of hills or anything like that. That'll take us down to this level. We'll split over here and split that way. And that'll take us to this first bench here. My character's pretty far away, so sometimes it potatoes out a little bit, but I had, I had to square this off. I had to. It was driving me crazy, man. My my freaking OCD was like, it was bugging me. Every time I'd zoom out to take a screenshot, I was like, oh, it's all lopsided, man. What am I, what am I doing here? It's all lopsided, and, and, and pff, that's not going to work. So, yeah, squaring it off was important. So, I deleted the boreholes. Uh, yes, I, on the end of... 
Hmm. On the end of the, it's hard for me to remember New Year's. I was really, really drunk. Um. Did, wait. Yeah. I did, obviously I didn't save it because we let off what seventy-seven nuclear bombs within like a two or not, uh, less than a minute. Yeah, less than a minute we let them off, and we bored all the way down here. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey i didn't know that when other bombs were going off and you place a nuke it acts like other bombs okay once i figured that out i had to play with it okay i had to but it was absolutely devastating so why is there a vip behind my name because somebody probably donated or gifted you a vip membership uh yeah, we do have Christian in the chat here today, guys. North Monty Company. What's up, brother? Or good evening. Okay. Yeah, so I did, I did delete the boreholes. Um, yeah, because you got gifted. Yep. Well, as far as remember it up for four months, dude. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that, dude. All right, so let's get started here. So I really have to... I, really, I probably got to work from... Hmm. I'm probably going to work from this way. Hmm, what, should, what, should, what should I do, Chad? Should I build the road first? Like the connecting road? Or should I build from the other side first? Hola, what's up, Ross? Welcome, guys, coming to chat. Just working on some stuff. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah, we'll let you let you hopefully you enjoyed your holiday and and uh, take some time off man get that that rest is important i know it was for me i was like a month and a half almost two months of like card smashing out of war content i was like my wife told me specifically you're not allowed to talk about youtube and you're not allowed to talk about mining games or things like that period like while you're gone this week i don't want to hear it and nobody i don't know you're not allowed period no no <laughs> like you're not allowed no i was like fine gosh just talk about runescape or something shit that's okay i mean dude i'm i'm so i'm close to a boomer right so anybody older than me is gonna be like watch youtube all right so we gotta flatten this out a little bit here <laughs> Listen, there is there is so much content that happened on New Year's between Out of War and then when we, when we went over to Twitch and started streaming uh, Call of Duty. Yes. I actually took the VOD down off of uh, Twitch so that way I could edit it because there was some TOS breaking things that we did during that stream. So uh, I have to... <laughs> that's why it's not... That's, it's hidden. Thanks to uh, Bubba, myself, and Varus playing call of duty <laughs> so yeah that's that's getting edited so if you're wondering everyone's been asking me where the heck that's at uh that is in the locker secret vault that uh needs to be edited first so we'll be cutting that down a little bit okay let's smooth this out so the dozer are actually a little better nice bench thanks man you guys like my benches richard am i split i'm doing pretty good i've just been trying to take care of the wife she's been extremely sick and also trying to make content myself and for me trying not to get sick that's my thing i don't want to catch what she has because it is a respiratory thing and that'd be horrible for me because that means no content that means i'm streaming here i'm sitting here streaming and i don't get to talk to you guys so how much you bench <laughs> three dude three three that's it three right now it's all i bench yeah, the, she's she's extremely sick. She's been literally in bed. She slept like for the last two days, and she was trying to she was trying to hang out and party with us on New Year's, but she was just absolutely crushed. So she she's uh, extremely sick. I don't want to go into ex too much detail about it, but yeah, she's not she's not doing too well. All right, let's go ahead and hmm, you know what. Just streaming saving your lungs right now uh i don't know i kind of feel a little bit of it i think i think what happened is that she got what i had from a couple weeks ago 
you guys remember how it was like having some issues you guys heard it in the recordings and stuff and my voice is all completely out it's out a little bit right now but not as not as bad as her right so I've, i also had a few um uh, classes i had to teach over the last few days uh on some other things that i some other stuff that i do and when you're when you talk for 12 hours a day your voice tends to <clears throat> hoarse out but you you don't some, like sometimes you'll actually just crack constantly like you'll hear that from me sometimes and that's because i've been doing other things other than streaming or making videos so also a little bit of tech support from some other stuff i do for just general income and things like that right so all right we're gonna we're gonna widen this hole out a little bit i take a lot of precautions to make sure my voice is good i actually went to i actually got an endoscopy about two and a half months ago that way make sure there's nothing going on in there because I was, I was feeling a little bit of uh, throat pain a little bit and um general just hoarseness in my voice so it is okay you've had a lung infection for about a week now yeah dude it's been going around we'll see if the snapping will be in my favor today i don't have to like rage out oh you did it to me okay that's one thing i kind of want is there any way that we can get where we can turn on there's there's two things with I mean I know you I know you're rebuilding it if you're still here. If we can be able to delete something but with by adding it to a keybind to switch demolition mode on. I mean this mode's not horrible. It's just that like from like in, in the meantime, if we could get a keybind where we could turn it on to delete something without having to go in and take something out of this slot, right? Because right now the only way to do it is to go like this, delete something, then put it back in this thing. Oh, and then you can either leave it on or turn it off, but it'd be nice to be able to turn this off and on. But a keybind, so we don't have to go into this menu. How many are you working on, working on a toolbar at the moment? Delete key? Is the delete key? Yeah, a, a, a radio menu or a hot bar would be great. Like one, two, three, four, five. We've kind of had this discussion in theory crafting while we're streaming quite a bit. Uh, one thing that we do quite a bit is, is do that. And then we, a lot of, you'll see a lot of guys will come in and leave comments in the discord. And, you know, we do a lot of that. Like, like what's necessary or what's not necessary is kind of important because you'll have a lot of people spamming questions and things like that you know add this add that add this but it could just make a hundred times more workload for you and getting the community to understand how games are kind of made is important because they could be like well you if you just add this it'd be the best thing ever right we, we, we you know multiplayer people say that stuff all the time right but the amount of work it takes and the cost is, is insane right so people need to be a little bit understanding <laughs> that when you say just add this one thing that could take you weeks, if not longer, and thousands and thousands of dollars to accomplish that, right? So being mindful of those things is really important. You're, I have no clue how to pronounce the rest of your name, dude. I'm horrible, sorry. Terrible streamer. I was asking for a delay, a delay key. Oh, okay. I was like, well, a delete key, I imagine. The uh, new building system is much more satisfying to build in. Dude, like I was telling you, bud, we need to do a, uh, a hype. Hey, hook me up. Hook me up. We'll hype it out, boys. Everybody in chat, I know you guys want to see that. You guys want to see him on stream again, right? Playing with the new stuff, the new toys. Yeah, it's right. I'll play with some broken stuff. We'll make it look good. <laughs> I mean, this is, this, this is tedious. It's tedious, but it's like, oh, uh, it, it's not bad. It's not, it's not building up and down when you go vertical can be a pain, but when you're just building something on a horizontal plane, it's not too bad. Press alt F4, dude, dude, I'm, I may be like boomer, but I ain't that boomer. You know what I mean? I'm like, holy crap, dude. That's like insulting. The glory tunnel. 
spent a couple hours <laughs> spent a couple hours key binding the joist the, the t600 or t16 oh those yeah, those aren't too bad a throttle i just i cannot play I, I just cannot play um simulator games i've done it in real life with i much prefer keyboard and mouse i don't know I just, I don't know, maybe it's the thousands of hours of training myself to compete at a high level in uh, mining games. Right, like I, I just, it took me to do that in my sleep, right? That's like the first thing I did was just rebound everything. To uh, GR default, that's what I use, right? So I've won many championships with it. How's Amanda doing? She's, she's in bed sleeping. She's just on bed rest. All right, so I need to widen the tunnel out this way, I believe. Let me make sure. <laughs> Son of a boomer. Dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm, dude, I, I'd rather be, let's we'll see, if I was two years older, I'd be a boomer, like legitimately, right? But I'd rather be a boomer than a millennial, okay? Right? Like, I, I'm, I, I, yes, 100%. Okay? Like, I'd rather be classified as a boomer than a millennial. Like, hands down. Like, just disappointed. <laughs> just, just, just disappointed all around, okay? All right, we're going to have to blast out this lane here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay in... I guess we're kind of more playing creator style right now because... You know, I'd rather play creator style than do a, a long grind at the moment. Uh, because progression grinding for me would be very, it's its not, there's not, there's not a grind there. The values are too, too out of whack to add progression in. Right now you could do a survival play style, but you, you could not, you'd have to stick with coal. Like the, the other ores are too expensive. Yeah, come on, you're going to mess my snap up, aren't you? At least you're not a Gen Z. Oof. Dude, you can't even tie your shoes nowadays. I was shocked the average age that kids learn how to tie their shoes now. That was like, mm. Like what, ne the next generation, they're not even gonna know how to wipe their butt? Like I'm just, I'm blown away. What's up, white? Oh, come on, man. That's what I get for reading chat and trying to place things. Get wrecked. I mean, this won't throw anything off, but it's gonna make it hard to snap in. The rest of the line. I don't use the heavy equipment when I'm making tunnels because the overhead voxel will definitely it like all of a sudden you'll be digging or moving and then it'll just fill in your bucket randomly. You're like, what the hell? Yes, we are going through a node right here, but we got plenty of nodes. They're pretty close to just gypsies. I I I can see it. Yeah, I get. I guess. I guess. What's up, Taylor? Back for the stream. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Sorry for the. Uh, well, I mean, I took a day to hang, get hung, you know, not be hung over, because we did a lot of Jello shots on Twitch the other night. Hmm. We kept it PG for the most part until Bubba came in and ruined it. But we good thing we were past eight o'clock, and then it just all went downhill on Twitch. So. You sounded tossed up, dude. I was gone by the by by the time we went to go play Overwatch, and I had to dude, when you have to watch your own stream to figure out what happened that night. You know you have to. You know you have to. And I see. I bound my I bound my stream to my stream deck to where it automatically would take and block out the stream. From being shown after I was live, <laughs> you, know, you know there's some problems, right? All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this going here. Let's 
get a little lower here. So I'm trying to keep this thing flattened because I'm also going to use this as a lower below this there's going i'm actually going to be doing a my belts are going to be running under this right here so they're going to be going underneath if i can get them in there without being a pain we're going to try to hide everything stealth build i tried to chat but you were you weren't on at all you made some massive progress and dude Holy cow, my ears. Why is my sound so loud right now? Why did I turn shadows? Oh, what? Oh, that's right. That's right. We were looking at that. I remember. Okay, I do remember that. We did, turn, we did turn shadows off, but the dirt still had shadows. It was like, what? I was like, okay. Oh, the tunnel. You heard about the football team or the Bengals? I did not. I saw that one of the Bills players went down on field and much love and prayers to him and his family. Hopefully everything's going okay there. Shadow Warrior at the end of the game. Looks so much different when you turn shadows on, right? All right, we gotta be able to get a dozer through here too, right? We gotta be able to get it can't just be just a haul truck, right? Because we can't be eating our, our dozers off the uh, the mountainside, right? Yeah, for sure. Buffalo Bills safety, man. For sure. Rip can block too, right? And tons of guys. All right, we're probably going to go three. Let's take a look at the dozer. We'll get the dozer down in here and we'll lay another uh, line of blocks here. Then I'll go, uh, I'll go vertical, but we cannot go any higher than this up here, which we don't really need to. It doesn't need to be that high. It'll be like that. pop up my music thing just decided to jump up and spam me in the face yeah tomorrow i will be streaming as well be playing out of war uh and try to put up i try to put my videos out i try to do my videos on the weekend and put them out early in the week that way i can live stream the rest of the week just kind of hang out chill do stuff like that Chat with you guys. Yeah, we're making a, a brick inside of a brick. There we go. Thank goodness. Yeah, so just so you guys know, we will be streaming. We will be doing this tomorrow. So we're going to be playing pretty much the only thing on my schedule for gameplay wise is out of war at the moment. He's in critical condition. Yeah, it's tragic, man. The hell? Hmm. Okay. Weird. Tripping out over here. <laughs> what? Like, huh? My cat. I thought I thought there was like water leaking or something on me. I was like, look at this her tail barely just touching me. Like, I was like, looking around. She's like, she's down here on my side. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I had like a water leak or something. I was like looking around. She's like just sitting next to me over here. In her tail.
Come on. Keep on going. See how many more we got. Just dupe these real quick. We're gonna see how many we can, how big we can do here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new, the new building system. Absolutely looking forward to the new building system. It'd be, it'd be super nice to have snap and drags. Oh, dude. All right, where are we at here? How far have we got over? I could technically go over a whole nother layer. I heard of mini blocks 3D, no. I, I, tr I actually try to play away from, uh, I try to stay away from building games. Yeah, I, I got problems. I got problems. That's why I stayed away from Minecraft and things like that. But then this one sneakily got in there. And the wife is like, she's like, oh, it's just another digging game. That's okay. She's like, you, you rein yourself in with the digging part of it. But when it comes to building blocks, I just got issues. And well, this game kind of snuck it in there in both fashions of my addictions when it comes to video gaming, apparently. So yeah, let's go <laughs> blocks. I mean, ideally for me, I would love to be able to see the progression be where you're working and you can only unlock certain things and because you have to make them yourself out of the resources, right? I would love to see the game be able to get to that point. I would love to be able to see, you know, if you need a certain thing, like say concrete, wood. I mean, wood would be a little difficult because the it's, it's, I don't know. Wood, wood mm, maybe would be the very first thing you can build or buy. But it's, if you want concrete, you got to make for, make the uh, concrete. Right, so you have to be able to, you have to be able to put like blasted rock mixed with water or something like that, right? And do a production building, you know, deliver it there, drop it in, let it do its thing. Then it'd give you access to these. Well. <laughs> so one, one thing at a time though, right? Because like, it's, you get too far ahead, it gets too complicated. And then it's kind of hard to teach people how to play the game when it's like, Hey, today, today guys, we got, uh, I'm going to show you this new thing. And now we have to teach all these people how to do everything. It's like, well, I mean, it's, it's all right, but it's not because it's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Production buildings. Um, you know, it's, I don't want to see it like farm sim. Please don't make it like farm sim, dude. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't make it like farm sim, bro. <laughs> it's one thing I just don't like is the pallet systems. I just don't like it. Ugh, damn it. But that's me. That's my personal thing. The pa palletized things is just like, just kick me in the nuts, please. What's like farm sim? You know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean when I say that. <laughs> we all love farm sim, trust me, we do, but we don't need pallets. So you're okay with 90% of farm sim? I mean, you guys know where I stand on it. I was talking to Kermit about it. I was like, you know, I really do. I do like the game. I just honestly, the engine holds it back massively. That is what you call Good Lord. All we have to do is get I have forespoken for you because that's where I'm get it with this. Holy cow, I have Shane. forespoken for you to get it with this. Shane, beast mode, brother. With that hundred dollar dono, damn dude, you are a G man. Dropping a hundo the other day, as well as today, top D of the day, hundred bucks. Appreciate that, man. Much love as always. Hope your New Year is going good.
Oh, you meant production? No, I don't. I I don't mind the production side of it. It's just yeah, it, it forces you to play the game a certain way, right? Which it was definitely needed for that game. And like I was saying from the beginning, I, I do like that the way it's set right now is it's it, it kind of looked like you were going the satisfactory route mixed with like gold rush kind of but i mean they just heavy equipment i guess it's not gold rush i mean any game coming out digging right but um it kind of looked like you're mixing it in between right so you know i do like the satisfactory route of building and displaying belts and things like that and it does kind of fix the it kind of it's it's kind of like both a little bit of a little bit of gold rush a little bit of satisfactory and a little bit of like hydroneer i think it's a good blend or spoken is january 24th cool 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 i'll pre-order that today dude i broke the bank on christmas toys for the kids man i i don't even want to talk about christmas time man that was it was yeah christmas was horrible dude like getting to getting to just have christmas because the weather we i woke up with like it ended up we ended up getting three feet of snow that day we ended up getting three feet of snow that morning like over we woke up there was about a foot and a half and by the time we got out we had to we had to pay someone with a four by four to get us to amanda's parents because amanda was like she was pissed she was mad amanda was like no this is not happening and i was like i gotta figure this out so my, my neighbor has this massive four by and we ended up uh just i was like dude i'll, I'll pay for gas and like i'll hook you up dude so I, I gave him just so christmas could happen i i, I gave him like 200 bucks like just just straight up i was like dude we have to get there i know your truck's gonna get us there there's nobody else on the road right now you know we only have to go it's it's only like a, a normally it's only like a 30 minute drive it took us about two hours insane no everything was good fighting there was no fighting or anything like that so everything was good it was just the the weather the weather and then amanda was sick Yeah, dude, no doubt. Shane and all the guys who support the channel, dude, you guys are you guys are absolutely amazing, and we appreciate you guys as always. You guys are absolutely insane. You guys are absolutely crazy. Okay, let me let me uh, test the dozer fit and see how she uh, crams in there. Let's go ahead and jump up on this. That way we know we don't have to do anything unnecessary. We'll leave a little bit of clearance room, but the dozer, the loader, the loader will fit if the dozer can fit. All right, so. Now right, width, width is okay. Height is kind of an issue at the moment, but we will fix that. We should be able to make it almost all the way through minus these. Oh, hey, what's up? Let's do this. That'll work. Why don't, you, why don't you clear it out for me here, Dozer? Here, let's raise that blade up. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, 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 delete, just delete what you can, bro. Nobody's watching. Don't worry. Every content creator's like, whenever a dev makes a change, they're like, and it's a time saver they're like hold on oh, oh oops i i accidentally lost my footage uh, my, my bad uh we didn't see nothing <laughs> okay it's the it's the height that's making me <laughs> you, you you saw nothing <laughs> you see nothing right now nothing's happening i i do like deletion tools trust me oh i like deletion tools content creators be like yeah boy <laughs> You just, you just saved me a ton of time. Call the police. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall off. Whew. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think that was going to happen. That was kind of, hmm.
<laughs> I need to go back and fix it. Well, I'm going to build out and then blast up, right? So, so that way we can build the tunnel, right? So we're just, we're not really trying to make this thing exactly fit the shape, but we want to make sure we add. So we want to go, we want to go wide one more and then one more and then up and we'll use the, the blasting to do that. Then we'll add a roof to it. Now this works good right here. So this will be the ramp going down and in. I'll turn the corner and we'll ramp this way and put it in here. And then we'll make a nice like gateway in here, I guess, tunnel entrance. So more blocks. Oh, no. Here. Be snappy. Don't do that to me. You were being fine. You were being fine earlier. Being okay. You're being good. Every time lapse I've seen of people building and out of work, you see this. You see this random like in their, in their time lapse. You'll see them building, and then all of a sudden they'll just stall at one spot, and you'll just see this like a billion times. Like no, <laughs> that's when the rage happens. And they just didn't cut it out. That's that's where the rage happened. You just you can see where they had like a men ment like a mental break. That's what I watch for. I watch for their, their, their explosions. <laughs> like at this very moment, you know that something got broken. It was probably a mouse. Come on, bro. How did it happen now? Me. So encouraging signs. That's great, man. That's good to hear. Grinder dropping the 20 in the super chat, man. Thank you much, brother. Holy crap, dude. You guys are super generous, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then nipple pinch. I forgot that needs to... I was going to change Gotta that. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. Damn right, dude. Damn right. I mean, I'm going to be honest. For a while, I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do, but then I just went off the rails. I was like, yeah, let's just start... Then we, then we got the nukes. And that was definitely a, a crazy thing. Which was absolutely awesome because, you know, if I would have just waited a little longer, I wouldn't have had to place 30,000 Draymite. I mean, that was... Oof. Oh, man, dude. The Draymite, like, montage was was mind-numbing because the, the explosion time is... is you set 20,000 of them and it's like almost it's like eight hours it's like eight hours you have to wait I think we did the math it was like eight <laughs> first you have to first you have to set them all then you have to detonate them all so the wait time was just like horrific it was absolutely terrible what the other did I just place two no okay Dude, thank you grinder much love buddy Sorry, it's a little hard for me to read chat right now when I'm trying to focus on clicking these in place here. No, I got some crazy plans for this. We're gonna we're gonna meme this save out. We're gonna is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a lot of mining, right? But we're gonna we're gonna the build is gonna be the meme portion. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it by building something. I'm not gonna give it away. But uh it's it's gonna be interesting. If you could offset the camera, that'd be a little nice. Um, the the building is the building system is gonna be changed, like Christian was saying. It's all this is all it's all kind of temporary. And for being temporary, it's not it's not bad. It's it really isn't. For it all being temporary, it's it's pretty good. I mean, you you get you get used to anything. Any any almost every game has bugs, right? And it's how you find yourself adapting to them. And then pretty soon you don't even notice them, right? Like sometimes I'll be building and I'll have no issues at all. Just dip, dip, dip. The more attention that I pay to it, that it messes me up even more. Once you get yourself into a rhythm, you can really crack it out there. Like I'm just hitting the arrow key and moving forward and keeping my character in the same spot. And I'm looking at the little magical white dot on my screen that I thought was a booger until last week, but nope. It's a it's definitely not a booger. It's definitely a um a dot. 
I thought I had a dead pixel for a second. I was like, what the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, keep on, keep on snapping, dude. Got, you got people waiting. Yeah, I would like to, I would like to see the progression for like the super small equipment and having to build up to these things, right? That, cause that, I've seen a lot of people with the, in my comment section, like I'm already burnt out on the game. There's just, there's no actual progression to keep me where I want to be. Even RP is difficult at the moment. And, and I agree. It is difficult. It is like content creators, content creators have a, we can come up with whatever scenario to make ourselves play more hours, right? But a general player is going to look at it and go, well, I'm done already. You just turned 28. Congratulations, man. You made it. You're still here. Hopefully you can tie your shoes. If you can't, that's what Velcro is for. But uh, happy birthday, brother. And hopefully you're having a fantastic day. I want old slow equipment that you start with. Yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be nice to see some older some older smaller equipment, right? Where you really have to you know, tune it tune it out, right? Like each stage if you're looking for like a start like a progression, the progression tree or say campaign, I mean campaign would be campaign is the technical term for it. If you're looking for the single player campaign experience starting with something like a bobcat or a tobacco would be kind of appropriate sized because it would take you a long time to fill something like a rock truck or you wouldn't even have a rock truck actually right at that small of a scale right so it's you know something small that, that keeps us confined for a little while till we can maybe move up the tier and get into there because right now it's just like you know or coming in and starting off and this is what you get you get a shovel bro Let's go. <laughs> get shoveling, dude. <laughs> this, is, this is what you get. <laughs> A mini dump truck. It just breaks every two seconds. Damn it. No, I don't like that block down there. That's not nice. Stay out of there. That's going to mess me up later. I don't like it. What's up, pal? Happy New Year, brother. Keep popping these in. Oh, damn it. All I have to say is whenever you find a technique, sometimes you come back at a different angle and it won't work because you're up against a wall face or it's trying to snap to something else. So find like certain ways I had more clearance over on this side, but I just went in a row and this way I'm doing side because I know this wall is going to mess with me a little bit here. Also too, the floor tiles the metal floor tiles make me lag like crazy. Like I have, I have another save and I was building everything out of metal and it was like, it was like lagging. Like, I don't even know. My video card was just screaming at me. Like my fans went to like a hundred percent, which they never do playing this game. But I, and all I had done was put just metal floor tiles. The anti-aliasing was going crazy. It just went, it was just going ballistic. So I had to like, once I deleted all the floor and the metal floor tiles, it was completely fine. But the wood ones don't do that. And neither do the, and neither do the um, cement ones. Yeah, it was, it was just like, as soon as I added them, in, it added them into my world. Yeah, I'll give you a reference here real quick. So I only did 
Added in metal floor tiles. Material problem with reflections? Probably. More, more than likely. What's up, Vossi? So I did, I cleared all this out right here, right? About to here, I flattened this all out. And just this area right here was making my video card just scream at me. And it was all just flattened. And it was only metal tiles. And I did no other digging, no other anything at all. And half of the tiles were giving me the, what is it called? Oh, why do I always forget what it's called? It's um, where when two objects are to get, when two objects are near each other, or they have the um, like the static look, or they're staticky. So a bunch of the blocks were giving me that static, that static look. Like this, like it's doing a distance over here, like the render distance, like that. But it was doing that regardless of how close I was to them, right? So it was it was giving me just ridiculous issues with that. But uh, the metal tiles were by far so the, something's with the LOD and the reflections on the metal tiles and it like ramps up to the extreme with the uh, with the metal tiles. But the cement, the cement and the wood are fine. All the other building blocks are fine. These are all good. Uh, metal floor. Does anybody else have that problem as too as well? Can't get a better computer. Damn it. Okay, the only way I can get a better computer is I look, just looked it up. It's about it's about three grand Canadian. Yeah, that's giving me a forty ninety. Well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not, it's not the issue. All right, All right let's start uh, snapping these in here. We'll do a we'll do a big blast here. Yeah, thir it was uh, after tax. It's thirty two hundred dollars for a forty ninety. It's insane. No, thank you. I am completely okay. Got to run a grinder, dude. Have a great day, buddy. And thank you again for the uh, the super chat, man. Yeah, the f the metal floor tiles, dude. It's insane. M most of the metal stuff is like that, actually. And I think it's just the metal. Which, wait, which one's, yeah, just the metal. I got uh, two. I got two. I'm, I'm probably going to be buying another one here soon. But I really don't need it right now. So I'm just looking at uh, grabbing another, another 32 of the DDR5 5600. And probably another MVM uh, Gen 4. Just go rob a bank problem solved. Damn, dude. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't guess I wouldn't compare about compare about computer needs because I'm sitting in jail. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> solve does solve it all, I guess, right? <laughs> no more computer problems because you can't use your computer no more. <laughs> the M2 cap. The more the performance. Okay, let's keep snapping here. Snappy snappy son. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was something with the new like a new save. Because this is this is an original day one save. I've had this save the whole time. And I played on this save the whole time. So through all the patches, and it's it it plays well and I can feel when you made changes and things like that, but overall it's it's uh and then I that, so I use it as a reference, right? So I'll use this as a reference to a say a, a brand new save on a brand new patch day to kind of see if there's any discrepancies in maybe the old patch versus like new or but uh that way it's because like you know, you never know when something's gonna go poop, right? here no a, a two terabyte is faster than a, a one terabyte yeah depends on it depends on what you mean by speed i mean i haven't seen i haven't seen if i add more terabytes if it just if they go faster because they just they only they're at 7600 right now i have 7600 7200 read write 
That's what my read and write's at, so. Yeah, the read and write, I don't think, you don't go higher than that. I mean, I'm already higher than it is the manufacturer says it's supposed to be. It's only supposed to be 7,200. But I'm a 7,200 uh, write and read is 7,600, so adding another two is not going to make it faster. L Pomrata, thank you much for the uh, chat, bro. Yeah, I don't. I'm not paying that much money for that, dude. I ain't a millionaire. <laughs> like, like, dude, that's that stuff's crazy, bro. That's for like mega content creators, dude. Guys that make like like a hundred thousand views a, a video every other every day. In like the first 10 minutes. Damn it. Yeah, a lot and, and I wouldn't even I wouldn't even have built this new computer if it wasn't for uh the community, right? So and mainly it was to uh, get Amanda a new a new computer so she can actually start doing things since her computer was on her last leg. So it was mainly build me a new computer. It was more it was cost it was more cost efficient and better for me just to build a new rig and upgrade hers than to try to upgrade hers. You know what I mean? Because mine was already need to be upgraded, so just for workflow and stuff. The roof pieces are steep. We need uh, less steep for the truck for them to drive on. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. I guess that could be a, a thing. JJ, dude, thank you much for the sub, man. Welcome to the channel, buddy. Yeah, her PC was on life support, so. And now it's not. Now her computer is, well, my old one, so. That wasn't too bad. Eight slash ninth gen, not too bad. She she went up from a gen two to a gen eight slash nine. All right, so pretty big upgrade. And I'm at a with gen thirteen. Newest you can minus video card. Yeah, okay, let's just keep doing this so what we're gonna be doing here is just we're gonna detonate it all in one shot right so i'll take the snaps with where they will give them to me I suggest to let the ceiling be blasted optics. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much gonna go. I mean, I could I could torch the rest of this out here on this side, but this because this has got to go, right? So, but I'm I'm gonna do a little bit of um. I'm gonna do a little bit of a nice some nice some nice work on the inside, so it's not just basic stone concrete. So it's. All the accessory building is what I'm going to be doing too. So it's not just going to be a square tube in a sense. Well, I mean, it will be, but then there'll be some support that I'll throw in there for some architectural work. This will let me this will let me know where I need to blast and where I don't need to blast. So I need to blast on this top upper top. Or I could leave it. We'll take a look here. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. But it's not gonna be the same because it's cut out over here with the dozer, so it's gonna look a little weird. Unless I try to finesse it with the dozer and see how that works. 
How do people like the leveling system in RuneScape? Um, so leveling system in RuneScape. Let me think here. Let me theory craft a little bit. I know where you're going at with that with that statement. <laughs> I I do I do like leveling. I I I would say instead of RuneScape, I would I would more look for World of Warcraft style talent trees. I think a talent tree would be more appropriate for a game like this. So that way it's like, okay, your your excavator is boosted because you're per, more proficient in one side of the talent. Right now, how would you level with those things? I already have all that written out, by the way. <laughs> I already I already have progression talent trees for a digging game written all out. So I'll, I'll hit you up with the uh, the diagrams and stuff like that on on progression paths and stuff. But I would say I would say more of a talent tree would be more appropriate. If it was if the game was recorded online, like online stat trackers and stuff like that, then yeah, RuneScape would work. RuneScape style levels would work. But since the game is not really that style of game, I would say it doesn't fit more. It is not appropriate. Because we all like it, we all like to have the progression talent points spent, right? So it'd be like hours in the equipment and tonnaged moved would probably be the best way to gain experience in the game for an experience pool. That way you can also that's also something that you can look forward to and be proud about. And that's one thing about these games that is like people love is oh I, I i i'm level 15 in in my dozer i i've i've done this right so and you could record that with the with the voxel numbers right so it's it's just a lot of coding on that end right so and tracking oh let's see okay i didn't click Cat's been on my desk again. She was hanging out with me uh, yesterday while I was working. She was sleeping on my mouse. Like for me, for me, it'd be nice to be able to, I mean, I would say for these type of games, it's, it's, uh, it's fun to work. It's always fun to work towards something that is a, a decision making process. Right, so if you're working towards something, you're spending hours in something that could screw you later because you made the wrong choice. And that's where talent trees come in. Like if you look at say Hunter Call of the Wild, well, crap, I messed up on my talent tree. How much does it cost for me to reset my talent tree? That is a cost. That is a, oops, I made a mistake. Now I got a mine and now I have to make up for that. And there's a consequence to making mistakes. Once you had a consequence to your actions in a video game, it becomes a whole different thing. And that's what I think is that's where your actions are in insane, right? Like you can, there's so many things you can do off of that, right? Icarus is too complicated though. You can't complicate it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not being mean when I say this, I'm trying not to be mean. The simulator genre has a lot of extremely smart people, but it also has an extremely amount of potatoes. Okay. So you got, you can't make things overcomplicated. Once you overcomplicate things, it just becomes Dolville. The main majority of the player base, you got to keep it simple. Like once you overcomplicate, it just, it's, it's hard. A lot of games, the more they overcomplicate something, the more people run away from it because it's just too much. The skill cap is too high. Major most players would say Icarus is complicated, overcomplicated. When I look at the UI and stuff like that for Icarus, I'm like, I don't want to learn this. Can I learn it? Yeah. Do I want to? No freaking way. Now my question is just coming back 
It's just a game that, no, this is a completely different game. This is not Gold Rush. Okay. We're good there. Go ahead and stop building for a little bit and let's go change it up and jump into the dozer. Let me drop a save real quick here. I lean more towards the potato side. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that to insult anybody. That's just general demographics of people when they play different games. Now you have some people that learn games very fast, right? You have some people that are extremely intelligent and smart when it comes to making, making things for a game or modding or things like that, right? And then you have the like general consumers that are just like, I want to run a dozer, yeehaw, right? And then they jump in and everything's so complicated that they're just like 20 hour Andes, right? Like it just doesn't work. So you gotta, you gotta make sure that things are not too complicated. Like I didn't think Gold Rush was complicated at all. I was like, this is all just stupid easy. It makes a lot of sense. But apparently, no, that wasn't the case at all. <laughs> it was not the case at all, right? So a lot of people had a lot of problems learning just, what well, you gotta put dirt where? Into a bucket? Shh, that's really complicated. Right, no. <laughs> so when you add these crazy, crazy UIs or you add all these crazy, crazy, this does this, this does this, you want to learn as you're playing, right? So that's why progression is really nice because you learn each thing as you go. And popping up menu boxes that make people read is like, uh, you got to make them do it. Don't make them read it because then they're going to come right to YouTube and go, I don't know what to do. I can't read. So it's a it's a it's definitely a weird dynamic when it comes to certain type of games right and certain players right so it's not like a it's not it's not like a uh, like when you get into like say a, a first person shooter ah, i pick up a gun and i shoot somebody okay well psh, that's easy right <laughs> whole different genre gap right okay not everyone uh, doesn't want to spend 500 hours still not to get the big dozer. Exactly, exactly. That and that's where different difficulty modes come in as well, too. Right. That's that's why when when we tuned hard mode for Gold Rush, everybody's like, well, you can't just we can't tune you, you can't tune the game the way Split plays because Split digs five times faster than anybody else. That's just not gonna make it fun because it's gonna take us all 500 hours just to complete the game. So, and, and that's 100%, everybody plays at a different level, right? So different difficulty modes and requirements are really necessary when it comes to that because everybody's version of something, you know, everyone's version of something that's fun is completely different, right? Well, sometimes I wanna play the game and I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing something. I just wanna get in and have fun and dig and, and, and dink around, right? If anyone gets an RTX 4090, make sure it's the it goes to the gym first. Dude, those things are hefty. We don't need no leveling tool around here. It's all about feel. Yeah, options, 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 option, options. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what it boils down to. Different, more, more settings, right? More settings for players because everybody plays differently, right? Everybody plays differently and, and everybody has a different experience. But I think, I think we can all agree that the digging is the major portion of this game's this game right like people get that twisted a little bit like no it's a building game it's it, it, it's like dude no it's not a building game it's it's a damn freaking it's a dirt moving game <laughs> like, what? How, how did you get a building game out of this <laughs> like i don't i don't get it
Oh yeah, it's all it's all about being it's all about having fun playing in a in a, in a sandbox, right? All right, we got to scrape this a little wider here. Racing stripes and air holes make you uh, dig faster for sure. Yeah, I would I would like to be able to see uh, skinning, the skinning um, be a thing, where we can custom skin. Okay, well, there we go. Dopey is feeling a lot better today. Just need a lot of sleep there, huh, girl? Just using the side of this uh, blade to uh, notch this out a little bit more. Probably could, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna build out just so we don't uh, ruin the ramp as we go, right? So. Yeah, I mean, I just enjoy terraforming everything. If I can terraform it, that's great. I'm completely content with just digging like we are right now. If you, if you even, even if you weren't had to add anything to the game at all, and you just were to polish it, I would still be happy with it. Like for me personally, but I know, I know a lot of people want more, right? I know a lot of people want more, 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 more. They're just never happy, right? So. I'm completely fine just digging things and uh, quality of life changes and things like that, right? But uh, the the prospect of just having more cool stuff to play with is is also fun, right? I also want more. Like I, okay, if I if I'm gonna let me go to the store here real quick, I'm gonna I'll lay it out here. I'll lay it out. Okay. If I if I had, okay, if I'm looking at the equipment, I would consider. Uh, I would consider the look at the let's look at the let's go dozers right. So you, you already have the DX like fours fives eights stuff like that right. I would say that at uh, I would say for the dozer, a D8 would be, you could almost just lay it out like a, this is tier eight, right? So tier four, tier five, we need tier three, well, we need tier three, two, and one, right? So th that, and then, and then the same thing for the rock truck, but there's like, you kind of already have it. So this would be more like, like a, you know what I mean? So like a pickup truck, would be like a tier one, right? So this would be more like a tier three, tier, you know, tier, you know, sorry, tier three, tier two, just different capacities. Cause you can't really go up anymore when it comes to like a truck versus a rock truck because the rock trucks are just the different tonnages. So you have that, that's fine. This would be more like a tier three, right? So if you're looking at it like a tiered system progression path, and then you have your front end loaders, same thing. And same thing with your, your excavators. And then if you lock them into a tiered system, that way it's just, you know, dig this many tons with an excavator and you'll be able to unlock the bigger excavator, right? Or whatever the thing is, make this much money using this. So, but there's so many ways you can do it, man. There's so many ways. And with equipment, it's kind of like, kind of limits you to like creativity but definitely learn from other games. Like I said, wow, all those games that use talent trees is probably the way you're gonna wanna go. Talent trees give you that, uh, like I was saying, it gives you that, uh, oh shit factor, I messed up. And make respecking something that's extremely expensive. 
right? Like, any penalty in this game should be harsh. I mean sandbox mode is kind of what we have right now right i would i would i would say sandbox mode is like kind of like what we're doing at the moment so like the way the game's played out now where we can like duplicate items and things like that this is kind of like it feels like sandbox already right it feel it feels like a sandbox creative mode already right so i would say you're you're going good there and then when you go to start building on it, make them make start with normal mode. Normal mode's always a good start. And then you can retweak all the values once all the uh, spreadsheet nerds that we were talking about, which we love the spreadsheet nerds. Get in there and crunch all the numbers up and make sure everything's legit. Lays out where it's supposed to be. Ew. What's up, little? Okay, let's keep pushing here. Like, I'm, I'm not really. I, I, I won't mind bigger equipment or cooler stuff to play with. But I, I like subsystems, right? When it comes to these type of games, I think that they're. I think, I think this genre is really lacking subsystems when it comes to the games, and the mechanics, right? Like, like I already, like I said, I, I don't have any doubt that you're going to be able to put a, a ton of equipment in, right? I have no doubt in that at all. That is, that is the very least of my, my worries when it comes to you, you in this game, right? My, my thing would be making sure that there's enough subsystems to keep us all occupied, but don't ge generic them out. <coughs> Cough farm sim. <coughs> Cough giant engines. Right, make sure you don't generic them out. Make sure they they fit well and they feel well and have the ability to go, you know what, this just didn't work and let's just scrap it. And your, your player base will tell you that really quick. Like, ah, oh, we like that. Now nah, we don't like that. If that doesn't feel right this feels right then again most of us uh you know go to that potato level like i said and we all just want to patchy attack helicopters <laughs> you know what this game needs a 10 warhog let's go <laughs> Oh, Woo. that voxel pool's building up, bro. Ah, I can feel it. Drop safe. Getting scary. My save takes forever to save. New save is like boop, instant. Old save is like get wrecked, nerd. A big bucket wheel in the game. The only time we've ever seen one of those in a game working was giant machines. Code Horizon did that. It would be nice to see a new 3D modeled big giant freaking bucket wheel system. Like even a stationary one would be kind of cool. And then you can set it up on your benches and just chomp out freaking huge benches and have conveyor systems put in place and... Asim had one in 2000. Oh, okay. Did not have no clue about that one. Who made that? Who made that game? The hell? Front shovel would be nice. You only play on the weekends. 
Four live streams. Need my fix. Yeah, I just now that I'm back from the New Year's, I just gotta get my schedule, my schedule under control to when I'm making content and uh stuff like that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I didn't I really didn't start following those guys till here recently. I just hold out my thumb and I just guesstimate where I need to push this dirt. You know what I mean? We don't use no level around here. We can always fill it in later and scrape it. Come on. Knew I was close. I need to bring over the uh where's little buddy at? Yeah, even yeah, even a small bucket wheel would be great. Where oh where did he go? Nope. That's right. He gets this one? Yeah. This one will work. Oh, I don't know if I can get him up on top there. No. Probably just gonna have to reset him then. Can you add collision on object? <laughs> Please. <laughs> can you can you add it to the camera so we can't do this anymore? <laughs> Oh, it's gonna give me a seizure <laughs> One button bro <laughs> Camera mode collision then just add it to the add it to the uh, the list of the um the collision of items Rolling up and over It's so disorienting. I don't know. It's just it just drives me crazy And if people don't like it, you can just check it then add it to the checklist, but you'd have to add every item in. Yeah, just camera collide uh, with the ca main camera and then add the list of all the items for the building tools in there. Let's go. Oh, you, get, you, did, you did a straw pull on it already? Okay. I, I actually, okay, so I do like being able to clip through the ground with the camera. This camera is nice, right? To be able to look around, line things up, that's good. This is fine. But colliding with once you build something like an object and you, it, it, it's, oof, oof, it's a little scary. Yeah, but an option's always nice. Yeah, just putting in the ability to turn it off and on. It shouldn't be too, too much work for you, but nothing, there's nothing that needs to be even focused on. Just uh, quality of life, you know what I mean? All right, let's just give this thing a, a little basic smoothing here. All about man what's up buddy let's keep pushing this up if you smooth out with your dozer little tip guys if you smooth while you're working 
the dozer will just react a lot better for you because you're not bouncing around everywhere so if you're not using the level you don't really even need to use a level anyways but um smooth everything out then go from there sometimes you'll just keep pushing and then you'll mess stuff up right so just uh make sure you do a lot of what you need to do some sm smoothing helps especially in your back ramp when you're backing up and your dozer blade wants to kind of stick into the ground a little bit if it's smooth it'll be a lot more even when you're pushing like i don't go for perfect right never because perfect can take hours and hours and hours extra All right we got we got we got things we got a lot of things to do i mean if i want to build a star destroyer i mean if i want to build a uh a base i mean if i want to if i want to build something then yeah Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people just lurk and play. So chat gets a little quiet. Hey, Christian, dude, thanks for stopping by, brother. We'll have to, uh, like I was saying, we'll have to get together and uh, do another, another Q and A when, uh, whenever you're ready, dude. Whenever you want to put out some content, bro. Sit and chat about it and play it and pick people's brains. And this time we'll do a little bit more advertising, dude. <laughs> a couple, maybe give it like a week or two. If you guys would like to see that, make sure you guys say hell yeah in the chat. You guys had a good time during the, the last live stream and we'll try to get to uh, more questions as well. So now that we've already introduced who Christian is and stuff like that. So but you have a, a great rest of your evening, dude. And uh, we'll chat with you soon, dude. Belly scrapers. Yeah, I agree. Belly scraper would be nice. Freaking hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 I can I can turn that off. I don't even I thought I did Sometimes YouTube will put them in regard oh, for, uh, anyways, but yeah Sometimes you can't stop it Oh meant the ads after oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah after the stream Yeah, it's it. Yeah, we didn't we didn't hardly do any promotion neither guys. So we do appreciate you guys that showed up um, You know what I mean? Like honestly, we really do appreciate you guys because you guys are the diehards You guys are out there in the community. You guys are out there in the discords Everybody's watching all the content creators. Everybody's out there having fun and the fact that you, we had over a hundred people watching uh, For a non-promoted stream or anything like that really was uh, was nice So thank you guys very much for showing up and we promise we'll give you a little bit more heads up uh, now that we know that uh, Christian will show up unlike other developers that say they're going to come on and just don't show up so <laughs> we're going to go we can promote it bros and uh, hopefully we have some uh, cool content and stuff like that to show you guys so yeah 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 dudes looking forward to it man to having fun having, like I said this is pretty much my, my main game now nothing else has really been uh, you know fitting me How's my day going so far? My day is going good, man. The, the the site's looking better. We're making progress. And my wife is feeling better. So she says she's actually going to be making dinner tonight. So, dude, I can't complain, man. Now, let's just smooth this out here. Get this moving. All right, get this thing out of the way. Then we'll drop a save. Luca, dude, thank you much for the uh, the follow, buddy. If you're here watching, yeah, about five minutes, guys. If you are a new subscriber to the channel and you're here on a live stream, there's a five minute buffer before you can uh, speak in the chat because we do that because we have sex bots on YouTube and they are absolutely freaking annoying. So. 
We do that so it keeps the spam out of the chat. I mean, I need the money for the ingredients. Well, I mean, I got you. Of course, you know. Of course. Nah, I'm just gonna send you the. I'm gonna panhandle for our groceries tonight. <laughs> Let's push that a little bit over there. We'll leave that alone for a second. Now that we've got this, let's go ahead and flatten our blade out. Oh, we need to. Woo. It's all right. We got this. It's okay. But ah, dude, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Been a bit. Is I seen your name? All right. Okay, what do we got what going on here? Smash that. And we'll hit this out real quick. Let it save. Having McBacon. Bacon. McBacon? Why did I put a Mick in there? You got to have a McBacon cheese? Dude, I can. I'm going to tell you something here. I cannot eat McDonald's anymore. Me and Amanda both went to McDonald's like twice. And it was so salty the meat the meat was salty it was just gross i couldn't do it i was like i i in the price it was just horrible i just couldn't do it i mean when when the meat is saltier than the fries and that's saying something you know what i mean saying something for mcdonald's that's just whoo yeah i'm still alive what's up sog who's a better cook um me and i don't even i'm not even trying to be me when i say that and amanda will verify I, i'm i'm the uh cook in the, in the in the household that's completely fine i actually do enjoy cooking so Like, I don't know. Did they change their recipe or did they tell their cooks to like, you know what I mean? Did they tell their cooks and everything to like ramp up the salt factor or something? I don't know what's going on here. As the preservatives in the meat, they had to have changed it. I can't handle that anymore. Like, no, it's bad. Like, it's gross. Like, I can handle it before being, you know, questionable horse meat, monkey meat, you know, whatever you want to call it. Dirty feet, whatever. But, dude, no. Nah, this was, this was a whole new level of gross. We don't want to lose that progress because we I can feel the crash coming Let's go ahead and save that real quick again. I know when you get close to that zone where you start feeling that lag happening Make sure you save Okay, my main game used to be What I used to play was gold rush When it first came out, but the uh, game seems to have lost all of its hype In the lack of new content then you see uh, See you on this so much more potential i mean yeah i mean gold rush lost all of its potential people know i mean mo all you guys know that i i used to i didn't work i worked for them but i didn't get paid right i wasn't i did it because i love the game and i love the tv show and i love this genre of uh games and you guys all know i've been looking for games like this to play that are from people that are just not scumbags right so i'm really super happy that christian's a decent dude you know and he's and he's doing a, re a really good job at uh making progress on this game and i've been following him all the way from the original version of this game and it just wasn't my thing then and now it's getting it's he's getting better and better and better and better and better and better so what you call glory hole you know it's it's definitely been nice and very very refreshing to play something else in this genre here amanda buy you and split some taco stuff dude snippy brother you didn't have to dude we got that 
<laughs> but then, holy crap, dude, thank you for dinner, man. And uh, whatever she needs from the grocery store. So, dude, holy crap, man. Thanks, bro. Yeah, saving and quitting is definitely the best option to do, right? So right now, let's just go ahead and actually do that. We know it's going to crash. We already know it's going to crash. And we've already figured out why it does that. So it's just going to take Christian some time to get it all fixed in. And it, it's all, it's all going to take a little bit of time, right? So in the meantime, when you guys start seeing that shuttering happen, save your game and close it. However, here's the caveat to that. Make sure that you've let all your material run through your plant first or else it just gets deleted, right? So make sure you let your plant finish its thing and then you're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna quit. I drink their coffee. That's the old Tim Tams brand now. A lot of people say that actually. A lot of people, a lot of people are like, you know, it's, that's how the old, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I don't I'm not a fan of their old coffee. Cause I don't do not like McDonald's coffee. How much does it cost to buy food at McDonald's? I think a Big Mac meal, if you make it large is like 15 or $16. You're talking about to a person who will encase his prime rib, coarse salt, Cook it in the oven, then break it out. See, that's not that's not a problem. I don't mind that stuff, Kyle. Like that stuff's not a big. I don't mind when foods cooked properly, with different techniques versus just like fast food style sodium. You know. And here we are again talking about food. One thing we do well around here. And Francis, dude, brother, take it easy, man. Have a great night, dude. Something nice, not the crappy stuff. I was shaking him down, not you. <laughs> Gosh damn it. <laughs> yep. Okay. I think, yeah, if I'm looking at the road, let's go, let's go wander over this way. Let's go over yonder. Yeah, to go back to the, to go back to the Goldberg thing. Yeah, a lot of you guys know I, I did work for them when it comes to just overall theory crafting on their game and tuning balance tweaks and things like that so it was a it's a bummer it, it really is it all comes down to corporation is what it comes down to really is what it was it was really what it is really what it came down to they the company and the guys that made the game are extremely good coders they're extremely good a lot of them are very good friends of mine now and the thing is is that you can only do what your boss will allow you to do, right? Your boss, if your boss says, no, you you cannot do that, then you can't do it. Because he's, he's being, yeah, I think that boss is being yelled at by somebody like Discovery Channel. Because Gold Rush was a huge title, right? Massive title, big, 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 massive TV show. So it's, it's hard for them to just go, okay, well, we want to put all this equipment in the game and skirt around copyrights when everybody wants caterpillar and volvo and things like that because gold rush is technically a name name brand right like when it comes to a digging game the title of gold rush is massive and you can't really work around that so i mean that that's where its selling power came in because gold rush fundamentally was not it was built on an old game it wasn't built on a brand new fresh you know, here we go. This is what's up, right? It was built on giant machines. So yeah, it's it was it was a bummer. 
it was a huge bummer trust me i i banked my whole i say whole content career around out of uh around around gold rush right like for many years and they just dropped the ball in many departments i mean every day getting on every day getting on and talking to these guys and trying to fight for what you guys wanted was like pulling teeth it was stupid it was it was annoying and then getting on and trying not to be irritated and pissed off when i'm playing the game was extremely difficult for me because i wanted to make sure that the game did well people saw it people promoted it and for a while i was the only person in the world streaming the damn game or even putting out content for many 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 years so that was very very difficult so this like i said this is very refreshing deletes mccafe and um <laughs> mccafe mccafe gosh damn it i got me thinking about mcdonald's and i don't even like it delete mccafe and run norton you think uh you oof. Oof. there's other ones that are not those those two name brand dudes are horrible they're hor horrible products and they will make your shit terrible you might as well you'd be better off running with a virus dude to be honest you get better performance like they're they're real bad delete yeah delete both of them dude they're they're horrible <laughs> you're you're better off running with the virus honestly like it's that it's that bad Yeah, they're both they're both horrible. Norton does perform a little better than McAfee, but yeah, there's other smaller brands out there that'll do that. You don't need all their crap. You really don't. Because they all pretty much run off the same Microsoft Defender engine. So as long as you have Microsoft Defender and then you run your then run a couple of the, the smaller stuff The smaller ones like your CC cleaners and things like that You're pretty much good to go man like You just need something for scanning for viruses, you know once or twice a week You don't need any big giant crazy stuff You know I mean, if you're doing dumb stupid malicious shit, you're probably gonna you're asking for it anyways regardless You know what I mean like this is my this is my work computer. I don't I don't do stupid shit on this computer that's what amanda's is for no <laughs> yeah if you're not doing anything shady and you're not going to shady websites dude you're not stupid and you're not clicking on phishing scams or links dude you're fine man most of the time microsoft defender will work just as fine for majority of people out there that are not going to dumb bullshit websites trying to find hacks or cd keys or downloading something to try to get shit for free or things like that right so if you if you just straight up pay and you're not like and i and hey i get it guys I, I i cannot promote it and i will not promote it pirating because it's i just can't in terms of service but i understand i understand that people don't have the money to buy these games or buy things or and things like that so it does happen but also be mindful that you're opening yourselves up to problems and you know what's going on we are so just to recap i guess we'll give a little bit of a recap boom let's we'll see what's going on here let's go into the camera we are if you guys have been keeping up with the videos that i've been putting out we're building a road to the main bench that's under here right and i'm building the access road to the tunnel that we just put in or we're putting in right so we're building all that so that way we can come through this tunnel and we can pop out this other side 
and go either this way or this way to get to the bench, the first bench layer. And this will be the bench to get down to the bottom eventually. So we're leaving this in here. So we're just kind of building and doing a lot of things. I used to do that. I want to check out a game. I under, I get it, dude. Like demos are so important for video games, I believe. I believe that demos are the most underrated thing in gaming lately. They they need to put they need everybody needs to have a demo. Why? For that very reason. Do you want to stop piracy? Most of people most people pirate games because they want to try them out without paying for them. Right? Since you can't really rent video games anymore. It's kind of a really big necessity that they put these damn demos out. Stop being so freaking stupid. It's only a couple of your, like 20 minutes of gameplay is really all somebody needs to know if I really want to play this game. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, as a content creator, I'm like, hell yeah, dude, no demos. <laughs> Come watch, Let's see if you want to play, you know? <laughs> I remember, I remember when we had to go get our gaming magazine that had our, our DVD copy of something, a couple demos on it, right? But, you know, now, now it's like everything's instant gratification and instant hatred, it seems like. You give people what they want and then they instantly hate. They were, I mean, we all used to trade those discs. We did all that stuff, man. When the internet first started popping, those AOL discs that they kept spamming out to people were like gold, dude. You know? I remember for a while, dude, I had to have a side hustle just to get freaking dial up, man. Just so I could play RuneScape and make money. <laughs> Don't even get me started, bros. Hey, beautiful. How's your uh, voice and everything doing today? You can, you do sound a lot better. That's good. That's good. Just need some good bed rest and lots of fluids, huh? Not drowsy anymore. Let's go get some stuff done today. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. I know my phone. Yeah, my phone needed to be charged. Dude, I downloaded this app for my phone that like has a gentle wake up. I didn't even hear that freaking thing go off today. No, 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 no. I heard the alarm clock go off, but I didn't. The gentle alarm is supposed to nudge you out of your REM sleep. It did actually. I did. I did have a lot easier of a time waking up today. Huh? Yeah, Mantis just goes straight for just domination to the ears like to wake up. No, that shit's scary, man. It gives me anxiety attack. No, it, it does not. That's, I want a nice. That's why I jump and get up out of bed so fast. Because Amanda scared me to death. She's got like freaking fog horns going off and shit. And I'm like, no. <laughs> that's not nice. Yeah, demos are great. They are good. Like <laughs> your parents <laughs> probably get them, but it's okay. Well, yeah, well, we use them up, right? Like we'd use them up. I didn't have any internet problems once I started working for a, a t uh, internet company. <laughs> Safe to say we had more than enough <laughs> accounts to use. <laughs> yeah, I worked for a dial up internet company. Funny, huh? I was a tech support. Could you imagine getting me as a tech support? Something's wrong with my computer and I can't figure it out. I can't log in. It's because you misspelled cat, stupid. No, I didn't misspell cat. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Or maybe your caps lock's on. No, my cap lock is not on. 
20 minutes later my caps lock was on i'm sorry then they just hang up the phone after being a complete asshole wake up to a metal alarm i actually i was trying that last night and i was like nah i'm okay because amanda's next to me right i can't do that to her i remember getting that sweet sweet dial up from college i do you remember when you guys could, sh you could shotgun uh modems so you could go to dsl before dsl really came out i i had four freaking i had four phone lines coming into my house i was rolling in that runescape money right my mom and dad were like we're not getting any more phone lines added i was just like here's the money Just take me down right now. It's coming. <laughs> She's coming at me with those hungry eyes, boys. <laughs> and it's not. It's not for me. <laughs> it's for my wallet, dude. <laughs> well, I guess I could just keep going that way. It'll fill it in, then I can push it out. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, well, we need taco shells if you're doing tacos, right? And we still have burger, correct? What did you just say? Why does our freezer smell like farts? I don't know. Why why does it smell like farts, Amanda? Miss Amanda Lane in the living room the other day just farting like a wildebeest. I don't know. There's nothing in our freezer or our refrigerator that's Okay. I'm gonna say PG on the, so I'm gonna stay PG on that subject. I don't know why our freezer smells like farts. Oh, it's because there's eggs in the fridge. That's why. Okay, I was like, that was like, didn't make any sense to me why it smells like farts. <laughs> it's a hard boiled egg smell you're smelling. That's what. <laughs> It just, it smells like farts in here, dude. Well, uh, trap, but okay, I'm, I'm, okay, I'll be honest, I'll come clean. I went in there and farted in the refrigerator because I knew you needed my ingredients. So I trapped a fart in the fridge, all right? It just, it just, it, it just happened. <laughs> it's all Buddha's fault. <laughs> he told me to do it. All right. Dude, we don't, we don't go for a level around here, okay? Level equals too much time. We go for smooth enough. we go for can we drive on it let's go Yes, we have we have enough lettuce. Just just bought that, so.
Hell to the yay. Let's go ahead and smooth this all out. So yeah, we're just building the access road to get us to our tunnel, right? And I just, I don't want to just do just building for the first two hours of the stream. So I, I, I'm going to change it up between work and uh, equipment work and then building blasting construction work building blasting so all right let me take a look here Okay, Dishonored. The free games, Dishonored, Axiom, the Shadow Tactics, Kerbal's coming soon. So make sure you guys get those, those games in uh, Discord, uh, buy, just uh, on the Epic Store. Yeah. Dude, I cannot wait for freaking, um, Oh, we had to pre-order Dishonored. Not, not Dishonored. Forsaken. Or Forspoke? For, for, I'll get it right eventually, Shane. <laughs> when it comes out for pre-order, yes. Shane, send us the money for, for that game, so. Make sure that we, uh, we get that pre-ordered here. I, I'm gonna have to hook up the, uh, the capture card I, we don't have the capture card's not running right now it's not it's 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 in amanda's computer but it's not like there's nothing there's no software or anything installed so have to get that uh, all running here before the next week did you just want me to stick that in my computer or probably be better oh i didn't know if you're you know like kidnapping my card or not So I happen to end up staying in your computer or smoking. There we go. That'll work. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Did you get sour cream or anything? Uh, what else on there? Oh, okay. Okay. Is there anything else you're missing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can find it. Hey, yo, bro. Yo, bro. Cat's, cat's trying to jump all over me right now, guys. Sorry, man. Amanda's here and she's, uh, she's shaking me down. We're, uh, we're, we're used. <laughs> Real life is happening right now, guys. Real life. Amanda is awake and mobile. I've never played a Final Fantasy game. I remember way, 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 way back trying to get into Final Fantasy and I just couldn't do it. Is Amanda the... Oh, the real... <laughs> no. 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 The streams like this, when you see me doing this, the reason why that is happening is because I'm tapping my foot on the ground and, and, um, like I'm playing freaking, freaking drums or something, dude. Not a man under the desk. <laughs> In my dreams, he said, never gonna, shit. Never say never. I mean, shit. No, I, I, if you see me doing this, if you see my screen doing this, that's what that is. Just tell me to stop tap. Just say, just, just stop tapping. It's just a, it's just a, 
I know I just I've always done it when I'm sitting at my desk and Amanda's like oh, she calls me thumper I was talking about her walking around the house <laughs> no He's actually sitting right here on the other side. Did I end up finishing Stray? Sadly, no. Did you know when it comes to me and finishing video games, it's I'm horrible at finishing games. Captain distracted over here. Are you, where are you going today? You going to the grocery store? Or you going to the dollar store? Hell no, then I don't want to pay that much for that. I don't eat it very often. Is it just the game or true? Uh, yeah, you can get another loaf of bread. My ADHD and my mild autism stops me from completing projects. Both. And I can't go from certain genre to certain genres either, no matter how good the game is. Like, that's like when I went to go play, when I played Ghosts of Shushima. And then I tried to play, um, was it Horizon uh, Zero Dawn? I do, I couldn't do it. I can't play a certain genre to a certain genre unless it's certain games. Can't finish myself. Nope, it's difficult now when you got a lady to do those things. PG split, PG. Too early for this. It's only 130. Calm yourself down. Then we're down. Then we're down. Back back it up. There's kids. I think we're good. I think we're good on this. Oop, a little bumpy. Gotta keep it somewhat PG, dudes. There was this mob over all of this just to kind of make it look nice. We got the roller goat here. No, I didn't call the cat the roller goat. She is a fat little piggles though. My nickname for our cat is Piggles. Cause she is a fat little piggle. She's about ready to ruin her cat post because she's so fat. It's two, it's two for another two for a couple brackets, more like it. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Shit. Oh, meow. She's happy, kitty cat. You call your sister's cat a beached whale? I, I thought I read that. I, good thing I reread that because I thought you said you call your sister a beach whale. And I was like, hey, me too. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, whew. How long have I been live for? Doesn't it say at the bottom? Not on YouTube. It doesn't say how long I've been live for. I've been live for two hours now. Our 
that doesn't look too bad for just in here rough cutting with no level or anything like that that actually doesn't look too bad not too shabby i'll take it you know what i mean a little bit of bumps right there but overall it works and it didn't take too long to get that done so i guess it's perfect time for me to take a five minute bio break here guys because i have to go to tinkle and i have to uh help my wife with a few things here so and then when we come back we're gonna go back to building this tunnel and uh working on that side this side of it over here today so we still got quite a bit of time to go so make sure you guys go get some snacks some drinks do what you guys gotta do and meow kitty cat uh but yeah we'll be back in five i'm just gonna throw some tunes on for you guys and i'll be back in uh, a couple minutes so be right back guys
yo yo i am back thank you all who stayed and welcome back to the stream we're good to go i had to go to the bathroom chat with the wife here and uh get it going on but we're gonna be uh doing some more work on the tunnel now so i want like i said i want to kind of toss it back and forth between working on equipment and doing building so it doesn't get too too boring for you guys but we also want to make sure we do massive amount of progress each day that we stream that way we can uh, get it going on almost left damn shit bro Gosh, damn it <laughs> okay so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this tunnel here i think we're going to need some building blocks ahead and make it all fancy looking damn it Come here snap it damn you it's trying to snap to everything else but that Hey, it's Minecraft all over again. Exactly how that one snapped, but we'll take it. Reason why is because these this wall is not on the outside, it's on the inside because it was easier to snap that way. Which is okay. That's not a big deal. Not really a big deal for me. Right. Yeah, I real I rarely take breaks, but this needs to happen sometimes. How do I do uh do what during commercials? You mean like play music and go on a break? Uh, I have it all, I have it all bound to my, my stream deck. So I can just press a button like this. I want to play music. See, switch my music around. See, I can do whatever I need to do. Go BRB, starting soon. This, and that. See? They can also pop up things like this. Do stuff like that. Oh, and when people donate, I always forget to do this too. Make it rain, bros. <laughs> that one's that one's the one I always forget to do. Someone donates and I forget to forget to make it rain, dude. Where's the camera button at? I have one. But uh, we're not hitting it. <laughs> webcam button, webcam button. You guys are, you, how, how, how taunted are you guys knowing that I actually have it all set up that you guys get? Oh, actually, no, technically, no. My camera is actually on Amanda's computer right now. Bill, what has been banned? What are you talking about? What the heck is that? All right. Ooh. 
Where do you get a stream deck? You can buy them from Amazon. You can buy them from anywhere. Stream deck is made by, it's a product made by Elgato. I'm, I'm I'm still confused on what you're even talking about, uh, Ball. We all know your wife hates clothes. It's not you that we when nobody nobody cares about me. We already established this. We established this a long time ago. <laughs> everybody, 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 everybody wants to see is Amanda and Amanda making fun of me, so we established this a long time ago. I think he means a band user is coming back with a new name. Somebody was banned? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. I don't know. Okay, okay. Let me let me see if I can lay these in. Bobby! Thank you much, man. Welcome to the channel, dude. Give me, give me a second. Okay. Gotta buy one, brother. There is a lot of, what is she doing? She's losing her mind right now. Oh, bad shit, dude. Oh, for the look I'm going for, yeah, let's just clear it off and spa space it out. We, we have a wild puma. Sometimes I came in with the name made some vids on YouTube playing gold rush, but that channel had mixed vids and got banned. What the hell did you get banned for cat or wife? Definitely not the wife. Definitely the cat. The cat is going absolutely ballistic running around the house, wanting to play. Okay, that's gonna clear that out. She is just going rampaging right now. She's getting the catnip again? I don't know what she's doing. Oh, Amanda says she's playing with her catnip mouse. Oh my gosh, what is she breaking in the living room? Is she just fart? Damn. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all this stuff on this wall here. There's extra excess here.
There's a lot of farting going on in my house. Just to let you know, the other night, I didn't leave my game room because Amanda was farting so excessively. This smelled so bad, I couldn't even create a Febreze wall behind my door in the office. This, this the sickness had to go somewhere, she said. <laughs> it was bad, dudes. It was really bad. Just doing some cleanup here work here, guys. I'm going to build it up and then build it in. And we'll put some lights in here, even though we don't play with lights, but we'll do it for later. I'll send you a gas mask. <laughs> you surplus stores. Matt. Thank you much for the uh, sub, man. If you're here watching, you got five minutes to wait before you can type in chat. And that is a precaution that we take because of the sex bots. That's so they don't spam us. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you're here watching. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, so we aren't perfectly squared off. Like I was saying. Because the... One side is on the outer side of the lip and the other side's on the inside of the lip, right? So we're not going to have that perfect squared off because that would have been a pain in the ass. I'd have, to, I'd have to redo this wall or this wall, one or the other. And it's not that big of a deal, so. The real question is, is do I try to make the roof arched, like arched roof? Did I make the tunnel arched? I think I have enough room. I have to take a look at the guide at the top to see, but. You bought one years back for Halloween. Sure. That's what you're using the gas mask for. <laughs> Sir, why were you two charged on your credit card for bongs and gas masks? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't think I'll have enough. I don't think I'll have enough ceiling space. He wanted to get the most out of his money. Damn it. Boom. You missed the Pikachu sneezes? Oh, she still does those. You don't want, I don't want Pikachu sneezes when she's sick. Then there's just going to be a bunch of boogers flying everywhere. And that's not nice. The sneeze turns into a shark. Not a good thing to witness. Boom. Oh, cool. Uh, 
Sounds good. Now. Disappear. I don't want to have to blast. I was wonder I was wondering what the reference was to that. Oh, there's the missing floor tile. Here, let's go up top and fix this here. Oh, I don't know if I can get this to go away, but I don't want to I don't want to blast right here cuz I want to keep the ground looking kind of cool. Right? <laughs> the hell did you? What did you just do over there, Amanda? <laughs> just, she just the low rider button on her chair. It was like burp, burp, burping, burping the hydros over there. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? Amanda just felt like you wickedly shorter in her chair. Come on, shrink the wall back a little bit more. When your chair is all the way up in the upright position, you can't touch, your feet don't touch the ground? You're short. <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> the road to heaven? The road to freaking hell. This is the road of my bomb shelter for when Amanda's getting gassy. Trying to get rid of the... I'm building my escape dungeon. <laughs> hmm. Yep, can't reach the floor because the two. Sh sh damn it! Stop falling off of there. Come on, dude. Pull it together. Go, go. Damn, it's pissing me off. Rawr. I know what I can do. Hold on here. Not put it in the freaking. I think I, I will blast up that high, but I don't. I don't want to get the. I don't want to disturb the upper stuff. I want to look still, you know, a certain way. Oh, there we go. Perfect, bro. Hell yeah. There we, now, we're, now we're talking. Exactly what I needed to happen. Up to the middle tile here. We'll see progress on this thing. Okay, so. These are a pain. They're going to be lovely. Oh, come on, dude. I'm going to have to spin everyone. No, thank goodness. Dude. 
Dude, bro. Okay, I'm like, what? Snap in, dog. Oh no, I don't think it's gonna be even. Let's let's do it over here first. Holy crap. Is the wall gonna really bone me like that? Don't do it. Hmm. Because you yeah, remember this this wall is offset a little bit. It should line up, it should be okay. Take a look here. No. Okay. Phew. It looks fine. It's not perfect. It's symmetrical, but it's only off on one side. The, bro the blocks will line up properly, but. Am I building a bomb shelter or a secret bunker? No, I'm building a, uh, I'm building a tunnel to the uh, lower bench from the uh, main mine site. I'm, re I'm redesigning the whole thing so I, then I can get ready to start mining. So this, this week is all about redesign and getting the mine site fully up and operational for the Death Star. I mean. Building a nuclear containment facility. <laughs> Let's go. Perfect, actually. That didn't have blocks on one side. Just dingus. Okay. All right. So I need. Damn right. Oh. Come on, bro. There we go. I want you to snap right I need you to be if you're gonna be a pain it doesn't matter you said nukes not nudes eh, you know I'm at work at the moment just dropping and hit that smash that like button do appreciate that man How much for thinking of me you have a good day at work bud Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> there, there is a floating trauma. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is a lot of OCD on my end because I just need to complete something like I'm going to be living in this little world space for so many hours. I want it to be a certain way, right? So this is just one project that I wanted to do. And I, I have so many unfinished projects, right? That I just need to start knocking them all off, right? And I need to start making the mine look a certain way. And that's literally all it boils down to. I, I have hundreds of hours of digging that I can do, right? But... I just want the mind to look a certain way first before I do that and go on to one project to another.
and this should be able to get my equipment in here. We'll work on this all, get it all roughed out here, get it done. Wherever anything's protruding through, I can just blast. But I believe I have, okay, let's take a look at the ground here. Okay, I have more than enough height. Because <clears throat> here's the shallow part right here, right? Kind of slopes down. Just gotta be careful. I don't, I don't want to blast a hole and then all of a sudden you see it from here, right? So I just want to, I kind of wish I could cover this back up with dirt. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. And it's going to come out here and then we're going to, we're going to bury We're going to bury all this stuff and this is all going to go into the mine. So we'll be able to come, we'll be able to drive down through here. This will cut in over here. Yeah, you can add dirt back in. It, it will, f I don't know if it will stay above the brick though. Uh, we'll, we'll try it. See what happens. Okay, so. Getting there. Like it's a big progress on this thing here. Lots and lots of progress today. Up all my floor tiles? Better not. Okay. Go away, dirt. Dirt's trying to come through the crack over here. Trying to break your mama's back. Get out of the hole. Keep on adding on here. Does look it looks natural. Yep. With the dirt coming through. Absolutely. That's kind of pretty nifty. Yeah, if I can get this thing done today and then add on the exit when it comes out the other side. We just we did majority of the dozing work already now that we had to get done. But that's not bullshit. Alright, girl. Okay. Great thing is I can still add blocks as long as they snap in, right? So that we can see, like I said, if I do have to blast a little bit or... And now this tunnel system here that I'm putting in, I can branch this off to go anywhere, pretty much in a sense, right? If I want to do an underground mine somewhere else, we can just go there. Just start blasting and I can just say cut a corridor in right here. And we're going that way, <laughs> right? We're gonna go over that way. <laughs> we're going. We're going somewhere over here. I 
I'm just gonna have faith that they're snapping in. No. Doubt they are. You know. Well, I'm glad to see Amanda feeling better. Because I've been worried about her. She's been having some real hardcore respiratory problems and stuff like that. So she's not contagious anymore. So that's good. The doctor did tell me that she ain't contagious no more. doing much better now she she's been sleeping like the last couple days like the last four days she's just been sleeping like that's i've just been making videos and she's been, I've just been taking care of her and she's just been sleeping you just need to sleep it out I put a couple blasts off in here. Yeah, let's do it. We'll blast them off down here so they don't go too high. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looking good. Couple here. Sweet. And I will I will cut up and time lapse this video. And tomorrow's video on the weekend here so that way we can uh i know a lot of people like watching the progress of these builds so i don't want to make sure that they, ha they don't have to watch the whole damn live stream just to get it i mean we've been pretty we've been keeping on track today so but you know if we stream for five to eight hours then it's going to be quite a bit of a stream for people to smash through right so i mean obviously you guys can tell how freaking much i've been putting into this so <laughs> like lots of hours it's not really the editing time it's just mainly the work it takes how long it takes to do all this right okay I can build the upper part. We just need uh, to do this over here. Need to hit a couple more explosives. Oop. Maybe I should just do an underground mine. Uh, I will. I will be going and doing some of that stuff, but this is a lot of cosmetics work that I'm doing right now, so. want to get some of the cosmetic work done so that way it's like aesthetically pleasing i guess oh yeah this tunnel's coming along really nice actually like i've i'm pretty pretty fast at 
using the the dramite and stuff like that right at, at building you turd spin no don't make me do every piece dude don't be like that you're supposed what up you shithead <laughs> listen up here bro I want to snap to the side. That's okay. Sometimes you just got to spin pieces around. No, that's not what I said. Don't do that. Damn it. Why do you, why do you not want to snap now all of a sudden? Why don't you want to be nice? Jerk. Right? Oh. Wait, why? No. Oh. Snap, damn you. Thank goodness. Sometimes you just have to find the right angle. And sometimes it just doesn't want to do it at all. No. Dude, can't wait to like like you're just saying, dude. I can't wait for the new the new building system, dude. Hopefully it's far superior. Nice of him to come into the stream today, so you guys could all chat a little bit for you guys that maybe not be on Discord or things like that. I'm just, I just want, I just want him to work. I don't want to bug him. So get in there and like told him I'll, I'll catch up with you in a few, few weeks or like a month or so. When you got something you really want to pipe out there, push out there. We good. No need to be riding dick riding. You know what I mean? Shit's like waste of time. Like we were talking, hopefully, hopefully like maybe once every month and a half, two months, you know, or every giant content patch come in and chat about it and play and stuff like that. You know, little, little hour streams. Little hour streams, get some uh, questions and stuff like that. Like I said, because not everybody has Discord, right? So that was one of my main things is not everybody uh, uses Discord or they use you know, these different websites that a lot of us may knew, may know or may use. So it's nice to be able to have a, a forum for, for him to come in and chat with say like us on the live streams for the people that are actually playing. Cause a lot of you guys that are watching right now are like diehard players, right? Not only you've been, or you've been watching me for years play these type of games. So, but most of you guys are, are new. A lot of you guys are here for the out of war content, right? So. Yeah, it's having a snapping. It's, it's just kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, it doesn't irritate me. It's just like a, a minor inconvenience right now. But I'm looking forward to seeing the new, the new stuff. I die soft. Still the best Christmas movie ever made. I heard fight about it. No. No, and of course you're gonna of course you're gonna snap to that one properly. Way to go. Okay.
Sometimes you just don't fight it. Just keep trying to snap. Bruce Willis, poor guy. What happened to Bruce Willis? Did he something happen to him too? Shit, I don't know. Everyone's like freaking everybody's dying. This is life, right? Let's see. Ken Block, the other guy, the football player. Like, it's just been crazy lately. The last couple days has bitch been nuts. Thank gosh, this side's a little easier. Damn it. It, it doesn't it seem like it, I mean, I'm not sure I'm being sensitive or anything like that, but doesn't it seem like it always happens at the first part of the year? I guess all vacation related accidents probably would happen around this time of the year. So maybe that's why, you know, that would kind of explain that a little bit. Cause dude, it's insane, right? Yeah. This one's this side's working properly. Just winner, winner takes the older ones. Didn't the, uh, didn't one like the Iron Man guy get like Messed up. I think I saw somebody do something. I think he ran himself over with a freaking snowplow or something. He's an Avenger, bro. He should not got hit by that thing. The hell? Too soon. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Where was Iron Man when he freaking need him, dude? Good Lord. How did he, how did he, wait, was he, okay, I'm, I'm just curious. How did he run himself over with a snow plow when he was, was he the one operating it? And isn't it one of those like little cab ones? I am building a tunnel to my base from the main base camp. Like how did he, how did he even manage to do that? I guess I, I mean, people can do all kinds of dumb things with things, you know? Look at me, ma. I ran myself over with a snowplow. All right, let me move my microphone. What is this? Okay, so yeah, we are connecting the tunnel. Finish all that out. Demo active. <laughs> okay, so who who watched the new who watched the latest video where I destroyed everything with the Draymite? <laughs> oh, hi. That shit had to go, bros. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, see how one side sticks out and the other one doesn't? It's recessed because it goes onto the back side. It's clipping onto the back side, and that's clipping onto the exact top. So I knew one side was going to be like that because I didn't orientate them the right way. That's why this side was a pain in the ass to snap. If I was going to be super OCD, I could go back in, delete this whole wall, and do it over again. It, it is lopsided a little bit, yes. So I'm not, like I said, it's, it's going to end up being that way just because of speed to snap. Like, that's why, like, when you snap them in right, like, this side snaps in just fine. This side's an asshole. But the whole thing was that it was off a little bit when I placed in the floor tile. So it's not that big of a deal, right? Well, I'm putting lights up and stuff like that. Yeah, protruding, recessed. It's just the lit. It, I mean, the whole thing's straight. It's just, it's just one side shifted over a little bit more. But if I shifted it, the other side would shift over the same side, right? So it's it's either pick your poison on one side or the other. If I bring this side over, this side's gonna pop out. So either way. And that's because the floor tile is one side. It all starts from down here on the floor tile. It's all about how easy it is to snap. And if I'm building something, I'll take a line being out of shape a little bit versus extra 45 minutes to an hour to make that line not look like that. <laughs> because holy crap. Yeah, it's it's pretty problem problematic all around, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully the new build system is good, and hopefully we get a uh, secret dev branch, and he lets me in there to play on it, and then we'll do a video for you guys to showcase it before he's ready to put it out, or he just puts it out would be nice if it's already ready to put out, but I'd like to be able to uh, showcase it if he's uh, not close, but kind of give you guys an idea of what direction he's going in or. Things like that so we'll see where he um what he does here but i'll definitely be putting out a video of the new build system when it's uh, ready to go i'm building an entrance to my tomb yeah, maybe. Building a nuclear launch facility, bro. Launch codes. Back up off me. Your vent shafts. How you doing today, Randy? 
sometimes the, the right angle is also really important as well when you're building but pretty much everything we're talking about right now is probably going to be outdated here shortly who knows exactly right you can see him dropping hints he's dropping a lot of hints lately about certain things that are coming in the game so it's nice that he's having fun with it good to see and it's good to see that everybody's excited too right so while the game has have had has had a massive drop off in people watching it still has its diehards already and that's what matters right and it seems like he's really into keeping us happy how shortly i'm not sure i i wouldn't i wouldn't leak anything like that if so i'm not sure i haven't seen it so I'm sure i'll see it when everybody else sees it when he updates it but Second week. No, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, actually seeing it, seeing it, not like leaked as in, you know. Yeah, I know he said the couple who was coming out. Well, but not that's I'm, I'm actually talking about seeing as in actually seeing it. Yeah, not not. I mean, he said a lot of stuff that's already came, that's already coming out, right? So, it's not hard to get information about what's coming out for this game, right? He's very 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 open about it, and it's good it's good it's good to see. Yeah. Pop a couple boys around here to see if we can get these things to go yeah we've known about we've known about them doing the building system for a long time Joey says it. Well, I won't believe it. A popper down here. Pop that one out. Finish out this side here, so we can see down the side there. That's okay. That's all going to be encased. If his old habits still apply, yeah. We'll, we'll be ready for it for sure. Like I said, because out of war is out of war is pretty much. I know a lot of you guys want to see me play some play some other stuff, but like honestly, it's this is the only thing I really feel like playing right now, and it's doing well on the channel. So, I mean, whatever content creator wants, so let's fight, let's play something that gets traction, right? You could play a million different things and stuff, but doesn't mean you're going to get views. I looked at the mobile phone app and it told me like what I should be playing. I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me, bro. I'm tired. Why? It's all digging games. It's all digging games. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the order that YouTube tells me that I should be playing games in. Gold Rush, Out of War. Any, can anybody guess the other one? Freaking Hydra near, bro. <laughs> that's, that's literally what it tells me that I should be playing on my channel. 
like arm sim 22 nope Freaking Hydraneer, man. Am I, am I not saying you should, but YouTube is saying you should. Yeah, YouTube's like, did you know that? This many people watched this after your video and it was all hydra near i was like are you serious right now you're you gotta be kidding me why why can't i'd rather do anything but a digging simulator please i'll even play butt picking simulator for goodness sakes <laughs> i don't mind i really don't mind anymore like holy cow though it's just it's just crazy man so many years of just digging games should try it out and see how it goes yeah i mean i'm not opposed to it i'm not opposed to playing hydranir yeah there we go hell yeah looking good all tied in. Oh, we got tied into that. Hmm. That leads me to the next. What do I want to do? Hmm. Okay. Bring. Fat and retired, bro. I wish. Got the fat, just no retired part. Shit. He's got me beat, boys. <laughs> Damn it. Welcome to the channel, dude. Just one or two episodes. That's pretty much all I've been doing lately. Is one or two episodes and see how they do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in and dive in commit to series anymore because if you guys ain't watching them, what's the point in playing them? You know what I mean? Like what's the point? Like, like honestly, why, why waste my time? I could be doing cooler shit that you guys actually want to watch, right? I'm not, I'm not just gonna jump in. And, and plus, that's expensive. Buying every game, I'm, I'm not a big content creator. They don't just throw me games, right? Most of those games are coming from you guys. You guys are the ones that buy them for me, and I feel obligated to play every game that you guys toss my way, but I can't, right? So it's, it kind of, it, it kind of like bums me out. I'm like, oh, well, I want to, you know, I'll make sure that I. You know play the game but there's just too many games and some of them they're just they're just not my thing right so what's up jen colorado Dude, things are going pretty good man things are going pretty good now let's pop that out like that for two Come on, Fetty. Jesus, properly up. No. Damn it. Wrong mouse movement. You just call me a fatty? I call myself fatty. The guy the guy's name is just what is it what was it? Fat and retired? Like well, I got the fat part. We'll 
Well, time for me to go dig for a while. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your stream, man. You too, buddy. And thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Howdy. Get it. Okay. I guess snapping only works when it feels like it. True. Sometimes it really does. It, it's just the alignment is all it is. Okay, so we're going to finish off this little piece here. I just fight it. I just work with it as best I can. And so like I said, sometimes things are out of alignment and it's fine. I'm not, I'm not looking for perfect, perfect, right? The other builds will come where things have to be exactly perfect. All right, so this is just kind of like a slop show. Let's get it in there and get it going, right? I'm not looking for super perfect here. That's my wall. That is not the main wall. This is the main wall back here. So this wall right here is the wall that I have to continue over there. And that's, I believe that's that wall. Let me make sure we don't want this to go out. And it's gotta be on the right flip here. Okay, so yo, what's up, Yeller? Yeah, it is right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want to we don't want to mess the wall up here. So let's go ahead and take a look. This wall is extremely important that it's straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this straight through and we're going to link it to this wall. So the, so the same thing is going to happen. So this, this structure right here is going to run all the way to right here where it starts to slope off it's going to run all the way to here. Thanks fat dude. Appreciate that man. New to the channel. Welcome buddy. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you're in the chat, hanging out. Always nice that you guys wait when you guys sign up. I know it's annoying, five minutes, but it really does help us out quite a bit. The uh, chat spam stuff with the, you know, the bots. Welcome, welcome, dude. Uh, what have you missed? I am redoing the structure. So all the way up to, to the point of today, the last videos will kind of explain everything that I've done up to this point. Mainly detonated everything out, changed the structure of the mine site, and I'm going to be redoing the plant, but I'm kind of waiting. I want to do a lot of this work to kind of make the mine. I, was, I squared the mine off. So the mine is going to be a kind of like a more like an installation mine. So if you're, if you were, we're not looking like we're not going realism right now. Okay. Like a lot of guys are like trying to go realism or this or that. It's I'm actually trying to go a little bit more towards a. Mm, yeah, can't give it away too much. <laughs> then you'll find out later. Trust me. So, yeah. So we're trying to build this thing like a complex mine, and there's my bench layers that I'll be working in. But I want to get the mine site prepped, so that'll be uh, the mine will be completely surrounded by this wall, right? It's gonna be like a massive excavation site that is, and then there's gonna be other things in here too, but I'm gonna be doing those in videos, so I can't really give it, give it away too much. But um, love that name. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, it's a pretty good name. <laughs> pretty, pretty good name, dude. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be squaring this off. So I had to make sure it was square to my to my benches, right? So my benches are square. They're squared off, but the mine is wasn't really. But we got a majority of the excavation done. So right now we just built the, the tunnel that goes from here all the way to here underground, right? Janum, dude, thank you much for the VIP, brother. Appreciate that, man. 
So we got the we got the we got the underground level that pops out down here on this base level, and then we have the road that kind of goes up this way. So we will finish doing this road that goes up to the upper portion up here. And then we have the road now that cuts off over here, which will clean all this up and make it look super sharp. We're probably gonna, we're probably gonna pull coal and pour coal over all of this. And we're gonna make, so we're gonna make it look like tar. Uh, we do have this road, which is gold, but that's all gonna be changing soon. Got a dono from Kyle, renewing it for myself, dude. Hell yeah, man. Very, very nice to see. So this road is made out of gold, but that the, the whole gold, it's not really okay. Let, let me explain that in here real quick. A lot of people think that the, the, the gold method with the multiple trommels makes more money. It doesn't, it does not make you more money. You'll actually, you actually make more money if you turn it into gravel, but this way just allows you to have all gold, right? So it, it allows you to do fun things like make roads built out of gold, for instance and do things like that but that is definitely gonna be changed right so the multiple sorter turning things into gold is not really what you want to be doing i mean like i said unless you're trying to do some meme projects and you want gold roads or things like that that that's fine but it's it doesn't really give you more money so the you do make more money split it is it just has to balance it's from what I noticed when I ran one full rock truck and one full rock truck of gravel uh, versus the other way, you actually only it's you don't make like a ridiculous amount of money more versus just running it in gravel. So if you run one sorter to jaw crusher cone crusher versus running it all the way through 40 trommels, it was just about the same per ton. Right? So you, you it's, it's pretty close. It's not much more. It's not like you're, you weren't multiplying it 40 times, right? Love everything I've been doing to keep it up, man. Thanks, Fox. Appreciate that, man. It was like 22 trommels, though. Yeah, see, I was running 42, and I wasn't getting more gold per truck on the testing that I was doing. I wasn't getting more. I was just getting gold. So pretty much in a sense, it was just turning blasted rock into gold, but still keeping the value of blasted rock. Because if you take 44 tons of blasted rock and you add that up, it does not equal 44 tons of what gold would be worth. Gold would be worth way more at 44 tons, right? So that's how you know it wasn't duplicating anything. It wasn't It wasn't adding it into another, It's just. it was just changing the visual appearance appearance of gold, but it was keeping the value of blasted rock. So that's why I was getting more money by turning it into gravel than because it wasn't actually adding a value of gold, right? So that makes sense if I was explaining that right. Probably not, though. He was making around 190 off of 175-ish tons. Grab. Cause yeah, when I when I ran it through just gravel, it was almost the same price. It was like same price as the gold or pure gold diamond ruby, which is crazy much. Still have not fixed the floater. Oh, you mean the light? No, it's still there. The lights that light's staying there forever, dude. Two ninety five, one ninety off of lithium, dude. No, hundred to two hundred tons. Oh, the front end loader. No, that guy's floating over there too. Yeah, I was not getting big money for full rock trucks full of gold, so it obviously wasn't converting for me. I was I was getting um just normal price. I was I was actually getting blasted rock price, not gold. Take it easy ball. Okay, let's go ahead and go. One. No, I did trucks and I did the thing, right? So I ran it both ways. Just to kind of see what it was worth. 
like running straight to the plant, right? So if you ran straight to the plant, it was it was good money, but I, the math still didn't add up. It still didn't add up for the tonnage of all gold coming through. It just didn't add up. Because it's it's a it's a glitch. It's not actually intended. That's why, right? So it wasn't adding up for. But I was uh, but I was making more than one k per ton lithium. So is that about three hundred per ton? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Like because I was running big tonnage going through the through the thing, and it was just wasn't there, right? Dumping it into the rock truck. Yeah, it's about. It's about one, we'll see. No, it's about 1.2 K per ton. You drop into a rock truck and then sell it on a, on a full, on a full truck. Right. But that's also, it also changes too, because 1.2 tons, it depends on, cause there could have been more diamond. Who knows? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure, but it also, that's also trace elements. That's not an actual full ton. So it, there, there might be some other mixture in there. I'm not sure exactly how the code is how it looks like because it's there's definitely some massive discrepancies in there but it also is a based on we're also basing this off of glitch system too so all right let's pop out some holes and make sure this shit lines up this 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 wall might not line up but this wall up here has to line up that wall has to line up that's the wall we're worried about not that one i can always just delete that Yeah, because I was getting around 53,000 repetitively for a full rock truck. And so. And a full rock truck of lithium is like a lot. I actually have not ran one since the patch in, in bulk mode. So I shouldn't say that. I should I shouldn't say that because... Previously, we were getting like 300, 400,000 or 300,000 for a massively packed rock truck. So. Just do it. Some extra blasting here. Sometimes when you're. Do something, it's better just to kind of yeet and go. See, I've ran pure lithium and gotten certain prices and then I've ran pure this and gotten something. That's why I don't, I don't get it. It does. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. I'm not under, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. Like you'll put like a full thing in there and it's only lithium, right? There's no other marbles up in that beast. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden you're like, why? So why was that load worth 87,000? And why was this load worth 250,000? I just didn't, I didn't, you know what I mean? I'm like, what? Why? That's why for me, the mining is, is kind of secondary at the moment because it's, it's not balanced out enough to really play progression, right? Have you tried gravel through the sorters? Uh, yes, we did try that on stream. We tried running gravel through the sorters. Nothing, nothing happens. It's already a, it's a secondary product after the, uh, sorter system. The sorter is only there to, the sorter is, technically the sorter is only there to sort pay dirt. Now keep this in mind that just because it's said it works away, it doesn't work in the, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't uh, mean it's actually how it's intended to work. So what we found out is that the sorter is, you're only really, it's only really supposed to be converting pay dirt in, it's only supposed to be stripping the dirt from everything else that's in pay dirt, right? So you're pretty much just breaking it down and getting rid of the worthless dirt, right? But it's outputting, blasted rock and other material that's not pay dirt so if you load in coal lithium or things like that through your sorter it'll go in for, as a one say a value of one and it'll come out the backside as a value of one that's how it's supposed to be coded right we've we, when we're talking to when we were talking to christian about it 
but it'll strip anything out that is just worthless dirt and it'll drop out the bottom. And what will come out the back is, and so what, what dirt is made of is dirt is made up of a lot of different things. You can find copper, you can find gold and all those other things in the pay dirt. That'll be stripped out and it'll come out the back of the plant. Now, if you go into another thing, it'll can then start converting blasted rock into things like gold, ruby, and diamonds. And so forth, you use more and more and more and more, and it just keeps refining it more and more and more. So that's some of the things that we found out. It's not supposed to work that way from talking to him and, and stuff like that. So he's definitely got some plant rework, but other things are, are in order first. So like the building system and things like that. Yeah, it's just, it's something in his, in, in the algorithm for his plant or something in the method, something's off and that's okay. It's not a big deal. That All that stuff's gonna have to be reworked anyways, right? It's all gonna have to be reworked. And it's all gonna have to be changed and uh, for new material types and things like that, right? Yeah, if something's left over from old stuff or, you know. Okay, this wall's gonna have to go. So let's go and tear this thing down now. These were just guides anyways. So let's get rid of these guides. Yeah, rollers just kind of chilling over there. That's how I store my equipment. If it's in the way, I just go like this. We go. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Now stay up there. No. You stay in, in vehicle storage, please. Get get over there. You too. I hope it stays the same, but rework so it possibly do without 22 trommels. I, I honestly think it works fine the way it is. We just need different tiered trommels is all it is, AKA bigger equipment, better stuff. So it actually works fine. It's just a little bit of the values need to be tweaked and we just need a bigger sorter or a better sorter, a more efficient sorter, I would say, or a tiered progression system like we were talking about earlier, like a tier one, tier two, tier three. Hey bro, saw your last video. I think, I also think rage people really annoying, but I also think that multiplayer would be fun and mind blowing. Yeah, I mean, we're raging out about it, it's stupid, <laughs> you know? We're constantly bugging him. That's that's more what I was meaning by when I said that. It's just the constant annoyance. I'm like, e like, every developer knows the game should be multiplayer. They don't need anybody to tell them, right? That, that's what I more meant by it. So people raging out or freaking out or going and saying, you know, hey, developer, dude, like your game would be a billion times better. Well, no effing shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> no shit, bro. <laughs> It'd be like, hey, see this stupid plain vanilla ice cream? You know, it'd be so much better. It'd be some chocolate syrup in there. Well, no shit. <laughs> right? That's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh multiplayer would be fun. Right now, I don't I would not want multi multiplayer because the game's got too many bugs and well when something is early, sometimes it's better not to have that. I'd rather see him work on the core fundamentals of the game versus multiplayer. Fundamental key sub systems are way bigger and better. Like working on the building system and like nothing really works the way it's intended right now. So adding multiplayer would just mean just compounding the issues. So once the game, if the game does really well, if the game does really well 
and he can make enough money from it, then he can easily just hire people to eventually turn this game into multiplayer that are very good at what they do and very fast and very efficient. You know what I mean? So I, I it's all, that's always the better route. So hopefully the game does really well, guys. And hopefully he does a really good job this year and he has a good year. I'll do my best as a content creator. I'm, I'm, I'm only a small content creator, but I'll do my best to keep covering the game and keep playing the game. And unless it goes down the complete freaking bullshit department route and I just can't play it anymore because it's just so horrible because that can that can happen. You know what I mean? So that that definitely can happen. He could take a couple wrong steps and everyone's just like, oh, gosh. And you know what I mean? You know, that that is 100 percent possible. Yeah, you gotta you gotta build a game. You gotta build a game properly first before you throw a multiplayer into the mix. You just got you have to. And everybody just wants multiplayer, but it's like this is these games are all like work in progress, right? So hopefully it goes go hopefully it goes well, dude. I'm crossing my fingers, dudes. Like honestly, I real I right I really am. I want something else to play. Right, and I'm happy playing this right now, so hopefully it goes it goes well. He already stepped wrong with the few with, with bulk mode with a few select people, lol. Hey, I mean not everything he's gonna do is gonna be super happy. I mean, I know a lot of the OG Berg's, Brexburg players are, are kind of mad already, but guess what, dudes? The community was super small then, and he may have been listening to people uh, mainly from that that old part of the community, but communities grow. Communities get bigger. Games change. Things like that. More opinions come in. People that are actually versed in building games like you know, and being a part of other big projects can come in and be like, hey, this is fundamentally wrong. It has to be changed. Why? Because performance. It has to be changed because of performance. Or someone that doesn't know that just goes, hey, Bill, guess what? I like those damn big boulders because I don't know why they just look visibly better. I'm going to chug this Budweiser and make a complaint because they was changed. And, you know, it. it, it you know, what, what are you supposed to do with that? You know what I mean? As a dev, what are you supposed to do with that? Where, you know, where the hell do you go with that type of shit? You know, like, I'm glad that he's trying to make everybody happy, but eventually he just can't make everybody happy. He does, because the amount of time it's taking to make everybody happy, so many things could be changed in that period of time. But he has a lot of time to play, right? So, <laughs> throws hands. <laughs> I, I don't care either way i i really don't the only thing i care about is the performance of the game i don't care for bo bulk mode i'm 50 50 still i just want the game to play well right and when it's not playing well then that's would be more my concern like when i what i care about when it comes to making content or enjoying the game just for myself even not making content playability you know what i mean not everybody's got a supercomputer, and yeah. Not everyone's got the best PC in the world. I'm just building that on the same block. Really? Did it? Oh, it did. <laughs> that was a reinforced concrete block. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this, this stupid wall here, too. Uh, do this. Now, the, the whole the whole building part of the game or digging part of the game, I feel, is is the digging part's going to get revamped over the next two years. It'll constantly just change. So that's why I'm not getting like set my heart set on anything, because I already know it's going to change. Why? Because, OK, quarter three of this year. Guess what, boys? Voxel Plugin Pro is getting a complete revamp. So, yeah, he's going to have to revamp the dirt again. 
So don't get happy with anything that it's right now because it's going to get changed. And he's got, he has to change it because of performance. So Voxel Plugin Pro is getting a complete revamp and upgrade for textures and things like that. And that's what he's using. So he can't make those big giant changes to Voxel Plugin Pro without oh, like if you change something to a plugin, even just the most minor little change, it could throw everything out of balance. So he's limited to hit that plugin that he's using. So it's it's very it's very limiting, and to hire an engineer to go through that asset and that plugin for for Unreal is a lot of money. And for him to do that, it's better for him just to wait, right? So the game's gonna change over and over and over and over and over again, right? So. So just keep just keep that in mind too it will definitely change that's why i'm like eh, i know it's changing i know when it's going to roughly change so after he gets the new voxel plug-in pro it's going to change again right we'll have a we'll have another dirt revamp why aren't you snapping into place from here what's going on here bro ski hmm Damn it. Dude, why is it problems right now? This is where that rage comes in that I was telling you, building rage. <laughs> Panzer, damn it, come on. Being a pain in the butthole right now. Like 40 blocks right there. <laughs> damn you. You still on that line right there? Okay, you are still on that. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Yep. Nice. To, it's nice to see you making the progress. Like I said, the vehicles, no problem. Vehicles, no big deal. He's got that on. He's got that unlocked, bros. It's just a lot of the other things that might that are out of his control. Just, you know, he can't he can't do nothing. Like for me, I would like to see him take the game and completely revamp out of war. And as soon as the new build comes in for Voxel Plugin Pro, he can go to UE5. 5.1 UE 5.1 is going to make the game so much better like performance wise with everything that he wants to try to do and everything that he's creating because one thing that's okay one one thing we're going to go into the nerd talk real quick and I'll, I won't stay in this nerd talk for too long is the voxels can be changed to be ran off of a different system than it's right now We'll just kind of keep it layman's terms here. They could be they could be generated differently and at a different texture and stuff like that. So you can have more of them in the world because they'll be running off of nanite. So if you run nanite, then you can run voxel nanite, which hopefully the new voxel plugin pro will be able to support. If it doesn't, lame, but it'll still run better in the Unreal 5. So Yeah, let's see if I can. Take it easy, Mark. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to jump too too much nerd talk. Like I said, me, we've talked. I've talked with Christian about this in detail many, many times, and we try to avoid talking about it because we could literally just sit and talk about it for hours and 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 hours. And quite frankly, 
90% of you will be like, boring, to have no clue what you're talking about, so I can't engage in the conversation, right? Or 10% of you will be like drooling, right? Like, oh yeah, 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 right? But, you know, that's why we try not to go into the nerdy, 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 what everything is, what everything's called, because then everybody wants to become an expert all of a sudden. And, you know what I mean? Then it's, then it's the whole, my dad works at Microsoft and I'm gonna punch you in the nuts if you don't add multiplayer type of behavior, right? Go. Cool. Right. Oh, bro. Oh yeah, dude. I feel you, brother. It is getting late for a lot of you guys over in uh I will be on earlier tomorrow. I will let you guys know that. I don't have anything to do tomorrow morning, so I'm going to be on earlier for you guys that are in Europe tomorrow. So, I will be on probably 2 hours earlier than today. Keep an eye out, dudes. Let's see if I can snap this thing to the floor pieces, because sometimes building up against these walls can be a pain in the butthole. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a fan of either aura now the digging system. So, Let's keep you guys in keep you guys in the loop i'm kind of i'm 50 50 with both i need there's a lot of improvements that need to be that need to be made so but it, it gets the job done for now right building system for sure first <laughs> it's uh, rage back in the day split would rage out and the keyboards would die mice would explode yeah, I'm trying not to do that anymore. It should only be a week or two from now, guys, before we have the new system, so. Yeah, dudes. Yeah, that'll, that'll work for now. I just need to be able to get up to the top without having to run all the way up because I can't go through the... I don't want to run there all, all over and around, but yes, now we got to work on the top of this here. Connect it all in. That's the guide for my floor height. Have an ankle piece for that. Then we need we need to be able to flip these pieces upside down too. All right, because if I put this in here like this. Turd. Oh, 21 months, dude. Heck, brother. Thank you much, bro. 21 months, dude. A couple months to go, dude. You get that, you get that WL crown, bro. Three more months, buddy. What am I having for dinner? Amanda went to the store. She's going to be making tacos. Because if I put that right there like this, right? It's going to jab through, and that's not what we want. Like, we don't want that, right? That's not what we want. So we need we need to be able to flip these pieces upside down. But you can't do that right now, so that's kind of a bummer.
Hmm. But merging these is gonna be it's gonna be a pain in the ass. That's not nice. There's nothing I could shove in there. Shane's got one he can spare. Spare? He has, should we have two. True. You should have two, bro. Dude, I don't even know what day it is today, okay? I've been so busy with Amanda being sick. Dude, Amanda just jumped out of bed going, I'm making tacos. You guys seen that today? <laughs> like, the hell was that all about? Dude, I ain't gonna complain. Making tacos. Come on, get on that little thing right there. She just wants to get sick again, probably. She enjoyed my attention. She enjoyed my attention. I will just put that in there for now. That way I can actually jump up here and move around a little easier when you're building. Building scaffolding really helps you guys. Just, just want to let you know. <laughs> like, make sure, you, make sure you build your scaffolding, dudes. Saves lives. I think split just got an IRS level. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I just I was like, what? What's the biggest donation you've ever had? Uh, that would be Lucas. Lucas has the biggest donation at two thousand two hundred and something dollars. <clears throat> yeah, Lucas. Lucas has the biggest one. Shane is the all-time <clears throat> top donator. My voice, like, <clears throat> damn it, Amanda. Please don't get me sick. Please, I do not. I'm trying so hard not to get sick. I just been taking orange juice, drinking tons of orange juice and stuff like that. Don't want to get sick. Do not want to get sick. All right, so that's going to extend over. That is when you get sick. Well, we're, we're going to try to do both. Okay. I've been using all my stuff, trying to make sure if I do get it, it's gone as quickly as possible. All right. Cause I, I mean, yeah. Boost that immune system. Anything over a thousand dollars is IRS review level donation. Well, we don't have we have the we have a different it's Canada here. No, it's not it's not that you get reviewed. The bank the bank locks you out until you verify who you are. Of PayPal. So I had to go and verify who I was. AKA doing a lot of stuff. Which I already paid my taxes, which was weird considering they already know who I am because I pay my taxes, right? So that's what I didn't understand was why that actually happened. But apparently it's a new thing that they have in Canada where if you make over if anything over a $1,000 donation, I think is what it is. 
flags paypal flags your bank and says or they ask for verification um it won't happen again i've already done it is lucas canadian no luke lucas is from the states Like, if I get super sick, you're probably just going to hear me. Well, you won't hear me that often because I'll just sound like a mandated for a week. But I'll probably just... Just going to just gonna bring my mouse and keyboard and just hook up my stream in the bedroom and lay in there and play out of war. <laughs> just live stream it. Be quiet. And I'm, I'm just going to play music and I'll have Amanda respond to you guys. Yeah, Amanda will read it and, and talk to you guys. <laughs> It's, it was mainly like a chest and cough and stuff like that she had. Yeah, if you're transferring from one country to another, they want to know because it could be fraudulent because people do use PayPal for fraudulent things. So that's that's what the guy at the bank said. He goes, he goes, it's not that they're, it's not that you, it's not anything. It's just a thing that Canada has with PayPal. Yeah, no, they lock PayPal. They don't lock your bank. They lock PayPal is what happens. Wait, did I build the wall? No. Yeah, that is the wall. Okay. I was like, what? Getting lost in my own mind. Okay, so that is looking good. Now that we got that going, let's take a look here. We're trying to follow this original line. Build this wall out to here. We'll blow the mountain back up. And we'll finish capping this all off. These stairs will go and then this will all be We'll finish this tunnel in here. So that way it's all from the inside, it's right, and from the outside it's looks a certain way. All right, so we got the tunnel in. I guess I could bring the dozer over here. Let's drive, bro. What was I stuck on? That was weird. He dad Spider-Man powers. <laughs> right, well, the tunnel is is its rough shape is in place, and we can get a dozer through it. So, if he comes out bigger equipment, I'm screwed. What's up, Richard? Yeah, I've been feeling a little off and on the last couple of days, so I'm just really hoping I'm not getting sick. Got a lot of work to do, and yeah, can't afford getting sick. Yawn. We made it. Okay. 
Fourth thing that I wanted to do today was finish off of this. Build this up and we're gonna build this out. We're gonna cap it. We have a deck like this over the whole thing. We'll merge it all in. We'll put the thing in. So most of this stuff's gotta go. I don't even know why I built the railing there. So this has gotta go. We need four tiles. Four tiles to go this way. Oh, it looks like I built up one too high. All gotta go this way. Getting late for you Europeans, huh? Hello? Who is that? Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? Didn't know if somebody was here or not. I heard somebody's voice and I was like, what the hell? Okay, now we got this wall. You can actually remove this. It's me. I'm in the fridge eating your foods. Oh, Jeff, just mess with me. Make sure our line is good. Oh, everything lined up. Great. That's good. No. I go. Then I just mess it up just like that. Oh, you forgot the, that they went to no plastic bags. Damn Greta Thurnberg. You know, as much as that lady's been changing in the world, that damn girl, as much as she's been changing in the world, she better live in a freaking mud hut. You know what I mean? She better live so eco-friendly. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Her farts better be freaking eco-friendly, okay? I don't want to hear nothing. You know what I mean? Freaking hypocrite. <laughs> right. How many loans do I have? None. I paid off my original two loans. And then the game just became kind of like no point in really grinding for anything. So we're just kind of in creator mode of them in a sense, but we are doing digging. I'm just trying to build this facility up.
I've already so to so I've already so to speak beaten the game. <laughs> so it's kind of like now it's just kind of just having fun. I mean, what what can you really do after you've already gotten all the equipment, right? So after now it's just kind of like everything's just gone off the rail. That's like when I need something, I'm like, oh, okay, do before I run out of it, you know, let's just copy it because there's money is so easy to get in this game right now. Like one lithium node's like millions and millions of dollars, right? And you can just keep chasing it all the way down, and money's kind of pointless at this point. I'm building, I'm building a facility. Hold all of the gold hunter fanboys. Okay. So we can keep them in there. That way they're safe and they don't they don't trip over any curbs or anything or you know. I think I'm gonna leave this part open for right now. I think that's where I'm gonna build the top of my um I'm gonna be doing a lot of crazy work in here with the 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 other thing, so probably gonna leave the this area open. I mean I guess I could just fill it in for now and I can get rid of it later. So, so that means I have to cut all the rest of that out. Can you give me some of the drink, babe? Freaking throat is like dry as hell. You know those eggs stink. Yeah. Well, she just. Well, she just crop dusted me. Cups. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're pretty far away from each one. Yeah, the, the lithium nodes and stuff like that are just—it's so crazy, right? Like you really have to sim. You really have to sim everything until some more balance stuff like that gets put into the game, right? Get to kind of kind of have to RP everything. Oh, something smells like farts. How do those eggs smell so bad? Then I just hard we just bought them and just hard boiled them last night. It was like a fart box in my house right now. <laughs> I have not been farting in the refrigerator. Let's just keep blasting this up. <laughs> I've been I've been banned from your house.
You know, it just dawned on me. I'm a noob. And I have a lot of work to excavate the top of this. Shit. Damn it. I just was like, wait a minute. Why isn't my thing lining up? That's because I got about freaking 15 to 30 feet. I got to rip off the top of this hill over here. Damn it. Way to go, bro. Good job. Well, you know what they say about that, huh? <laughs> chat knows, chat knows, chat knows exactly what's going to happen now. <laughs> Pulling out the nuke, bro. Time for the boom boom to happen. Way to go, potato. I just, I didn't even think about like the top of this part over here being lower than the other part. Like it just, it didn't even, it didn't even blink into my brain for any second at all. Well, that would be another project, I guess, or just uh, drop a new. Jackie, close your eyes. Jackie, clo Jackie, avert your eyes. <laughs> Listen, okay, anybody in real life would do the same damn thing if, the, if there was an option to do it this way. Okay, I don't want I don't want to hear nothing. The, the the purists of this game and their attitude is hilarious. Like, bro, it's too early to be a purist. Get over it, noob. Nobody, do they really want to get to a digging competition with me? Seriously. Like, come on. We know how that's going to end. It's not going to end well for them. Well. Um, so we, we've already saved just because we got to hit the oh shit button. <laughs> they lose before they even get started. You're too close to the nuke. No, I'm not. Oh, maybe I am shit. I'm back 500 feet. Please. Oh, Jackie. Damn it, it wasn't enough. Or nukes. Because how far deep did you go? Oh, man. Dude, it just pulverized this thing over here. Look at more coal. Yay, it's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> People ask why I just blow up the coal veins is because coal is worth as much as freaking blasted or gravel, right? So... Why would I want to run coal when I have a giant pit that makes billions of tons of gravel, right? Freaking coal is a nuisance. Coal can suck it. If your name is Cole, suck it. This dude, no. I gotta blast that out, dude. No, yeah, coal, coal is, I don't find coal to be very worth my time. It's hard chasing the veins and bedrock, running bedrock 
with a jaw crusher cone crusher turning it into gravel is way better money way better well sorter sorter jaw cone is your is your best combo for non-bullshit how do you just separate the the gold and stuff from the gravel just run multiple sorters sorter 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 i am not yeah if you're if you're trying to if you're trying to to get some money does the nuke destroy concrete tunnel no if i turn this on i have no clue what the blast radius the damage blast radius actually is i have actually not tested that to see what the destruction radius is it's probably the diameter of the hole so probably that 26 round so oh what's up eddie and there's oh that's not even all of the bench i gotta go down that farther oh come on dude there's so much So we're just need to follow this line up, right? To where then I can cut it over this way. I need more nukes. Yeah, I need to pretty much just get this slope done first though. Nothing happened. Heard nothing. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Get well, crap. Internet lagged. Oh, man. We only got to go up high enough to meet that meet that level then I, I just that way i can find out exactly what i need to, to pop out so i'm gonna wait to build the actual plant itself that's gonna go inside this this uh complex because if he changes the 40 sorter type thing then it's kind of pointless but i have i have another idea and I'm waiting to, to do it because I don't know what's coming out in the next patch exactly. I know some things, but I'm waiting because there's a there's a way I want to run the mine, which is should be pretty epic. It should be pretty epic, I, I think. And it, and it might help with the the lag problem. Problem? Pro proper problem? Yeah.
yeah it, sh it should help with the lag problem but it also be kind of cool so this whole facility will be used in some some way it's gonna yes <laughs> interesting <laughs> Any uh, farm sim in the future? That really depends on Amanda. Um, well, there you go. She said probably next week, so. You heard it. Well, you maybe not heard it, but yeah, probably next week. How old are you going to be on tonight? Um, well, probably the same age that I am right now, but um, yeah that was a nice burp for you bro happy birthday can i make it no oh, excuse me that was gross my bad just didn't, didn't get to the mute, mute button fast <laughs> didn't get to the mute button fast enough on that one are so are we starting a new survival t next week or what are we doing new survival okay so we're gonna be adhering to a certain amount of rules or just don't pick a map that's dumb she said okay so huh amanda's vetting the rules Uh, how long am I going to be on for tonight? Probably till Amanda's done cooking dinner. Oh, so she, how, how long do you, what's ETA to dinner? You think hour, hour or two. So roughly around that time. Oh, oh, you're making a pie, dude. A moose pie with whipped cream. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, damn. You, Snippy, would be proud. Snippy, Snippy's proud right now. I don't do cheap. <laughs> like I can take damn near anything and make it into something edible, but Amanda's like, nope. Best ingredients for me only, or I'm not cooking. Never had moose. And she's making, so she's making a chocolate moose pie. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. What's up, Francis? And she's making tacos tonight. So, oh yeah, dude. And I appreciate that because typically after streaming, I don't want to go cook. So, but I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind cooking. I'm pretty fast at it. And tacos and pie. Damn. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh, you didn't hear the chocolate part? Sorry. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, she's got she gotta do the pie crust first. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a plant. Sounds nummy. Wait, I don't have to go up any farther than that. Okay. Someone thinks she needs to make up for something. Uh, I don't know. It's been pretty good lately. Mm, I haven't dropped any frames, so. Could be, could be on your end. 
Unless anybody else is saying that they're buffering too. Okay, so that's at the same layer level as that. I can put in a I can put in a piece now. Let's stack up our run out. Let's clean up our inventory here because we've made a mess of it. That's not what we're looking for. Delete the excess puts it all over there into one. Pieces up. We can always just build a new stack. Uh in here. Um, yeah, right here. YouTube Apple's acting up. So this whole structure I'm building right now will go all the way around. And then I'm going to bench it down with the actual bench itself. That's as much as I'm willing to tell you right now. This is that's as much as I'm willing to leak right now. So you'll have to you'll have to come back and watch and watch the videos for everything else that we're going. But this is gonna be a massive build. As you can tell, it's gonna be absolutely stupid. But we will have a functioning mine in here. So Okay. That nuke helped me rip a little bit off the top up here, but we're still gonna have to flatten. Probably bring the dozer over here, not right now, but. There's so much work to do. Like, it's insane. Well, that's typically what streaming's for, right? So, when you're not gonna put a video out on certain things, like, I'm gonna time lapse this crap, but. That's why I'm trying to be precise about what I'm doing because this, this live stream will go into a time lapse and I'll put the video up, right? So <laughs> this is, I find this to be a small mine, right? Like. This thing is gonna be god tier. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this thing's gonna be a monster, bro. <laughs> My wall is a little off, but the angle should cover it when I go to the bench out this way, and then this will all have to be deleted too. So I'd like to get this all done like this. Here, here, all the way done around here by the next couple days. So Everyone keeps asking for these big giant YouTubers that have like millions of subscribers to break the game, bro. I'm offended. I am offended. I'm offended. You know, you know what? Shit pisses me off. And then that's why shit happens like this. <laughs> that's it. I'm mad now. Okay. Roads are in. Tunnels in. This will all get deleted. He didn't delete it. It's all going to go away.
Everything's lined up right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, dude, you know they don't. You know they don't give shout outs, dude. You know that. Over all the years of me playing Gold Rush, all the big, big channels playing Gold Rush, they never gave a shout out once. Even though they all, most of them learned how to play the game from me, they not one of them gave me a fucking shout out. You know that they don't do that. They don't, they don't want, they don't want someone that's better at the game than them. They generally don't ever give shout outs. And I don't ever expect them either, so. We, we've just known that from past experience, so. We just gotta claw our way to where we gotta go, dudes. The only way we can do that is do bigger, crazier shit, and you guys talk about it. Pretty much is the way it works. Word of mouth is the biggest advertisement tool, guys. Don't be afraid to use it. We just need Mr. Beast with a fire donation. We need Mr. Beast to come in and say, bro, you build the whole world for $10 million. Will you do it? I'll be like, if the save holds up, yes. <laughs> kick, kick Christian a million bucks and be like, bro, make sure my save never has a problem. <laughs> that is your job, bro. Just make sure my save never has a problem. <laughs> we will build a mega structure. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's, I don't know, I just, I just want something cool. We've all dug millions of holes. Have you guys watched me dig holes for how long? You guys have watched me speed mine. You've watched me be competitive. You've watched me do all this crap. You've never watched, well, not to say never, actually, because we did do some crazy shit in the raft. But in, compa in comparison, this will be way different than the raft, right? So this will be an extreme project that we have not really done on the channel before, right? So... This project, we're looking, this this project's going to be 300 to 1,000 hours, right? So, yeah, in 700, 800 hours from now, let's we'll see what it looks like, right? That's my goal. So. I just want to do some crazy shit. Well, people kind of really like that. People really seem to like the content like that, right? Like where it's like time lapsed mixed with, um, you know, digging explanations, things like that. Right. So I'm trying to just find my market because I, I know I can dig and I know you guys will watch me dig, right? Countless hours of digging and playing. And I know you guys will watch me do that, but what's going to bring new people into the channel, right? Like. All you OGs, you guys are amazing. You guys will watch me do damn near anything, right? But we got, it It takes a thousand, it takes roughly, it takes roughly 500 people to get an OG viewer out of 500 people. It's, it's about like a diehard viewer, right? Like watches everything, comes to every live stream, participates in everything that the channel's doing and eats, sleeps, lives and breathes the channel. That's metrically, that's what it is, honestly. It's about 500 people that come through the door to get one right so we just got up it we need more homies right boys That's what it is that pie crust will not take that long to cook babe oh get yeah, don't burn it then it'll get too hot okay yeah just be very careful with it build this warehouse i know it's it's all it's all pretty funny that when you see people's content like that like today we're gonna build a five billion dollar warehouse
Yeah, I'm trying not to take the game super serious right now because it, you shouldn't. I, I try to play my games honestly that I like, and if I don't like it, I just won't play it. Right, and and for me, this is this has a special little place in my in my heart because I like digging and I like the simulation and I do like building, but I'm not really supposed to be because Amanda said no games like Minecraft, so I win. <laughs> this is the type of game where it's like when i get when i get into building it's just like um amanda will be like are you coming to bed and i'll be like one more hour 20 hours later that's why i'm not supposed to play minecraft why minecraft is is banned my house Yeah, we have a lot of new a lot of new people from out of war and it's it's nice to see new fresh faces and new people that are excited and excited about the type of content that we make. You know, we're not kid friendly, right? We 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 are not kid we are not we are adult content creators. Right? So, that's not everybody's cup of tea. Everybody some people want the very very professional all the time. Hello guys, today we're going to do this and this is it and they're constantly doing that. It's just non-stop cringe. Right. The live streams are not supposed to be like that, guys. The videos, they can be like that all they want, but the live streams, no. I'll never lose the live stream flair that we've always had for all these years. Right. Am I going to tone back the swearing and stuff? Absolutely. Why? Because it's important to. So that's just part of being what you're supposed to be doing to as a content creator to succeed, right? So Fortnite Battle. So I'm trying to do the best, trying to learn from my mistakes over the years, and that's the best thing we can do. We're always constantly learning and evolving and stuff like that. So some people may not like the evolution of the channel or the games that I play anymore, but, you know, that's just comes with the territory, right? You can't make everybody happy at every second of the day. Like, we stream for so long, generally, it's like... Oh, I just deleted. It feels your need for the grow up sandbox. Yeah, it, it definitely does. And that and that's and like like I was telling Christian, you you could do nothing just today in the stream. You you could do nothing else with the game, and I would still be happy with what we have right now. I would still be happy with this right now because I can do a lot with this as a content creator and a game player that likes this style of game. I could play this game for a thousand hours in its current state, no problem. And that's saying something. That's really, that's really good. That's you know because if if I wasn't able to play and I wasn't able to make content, I probably would only play for about two three hundred hours, and just be like me. But knowing that this project's going to take me a quite some time. My goal is to get this project to the point where it's done before he comes out with a new map or something, you know, or different resources and stuff like that forces us to reset. All right. So that's kind of my goal. So I got to hustle, man, because you never know when that's going to be. Especially with him. He's all he will. He has a lot of goodies he wants to show everybody. And you still like the idea of the belly scraper? Yeah, that was um, I think that'd be a really good one. I think people would really like that. Then you get like you could even belly scrape and dump like material, like other material than just dirt. Like I have a lot of ideas that I was gonna I pitched to the gold rush development team over the years, but they seem to be very like non existent on building anything, so screw him. I'll bring it over to him. He seems to be a lot more appreciative and accepting of the ideas and so oh yeah dude i'd rather spend my time helping somebody that actually cares and actually will put time into getting it done quickly than some development team that has massive corporation money behind them and they can't do shit right maybe an old school dredge uh i'm going to be sending him the Pretty much a Christine Rose. 
and how I did it in Unreal and stuff like that so he can get a head start so he doesn't just start from nowhere and stuff like that so because i've already i've already built a lot of that if you guys have been following my my unreal development learning over the last like four or five years like i do build things in unreal i do build i do build games and stuff i do i do build worlds in video games so that's why I know everything that he's using. I can tell you almost exactly what asset he's using to build what, but um, my suggestion was pretty much a, my suggestion is pretty much this. We don't have any water in this game, right? So we don't have any water in this game. So for him to add a water plane, he would have to add buoyancy or even not even buoyancy. There's some other ways around it. More talking 60s and 70s. Yeah, th that's possibility as well too. But first he has to add water, right? Now he necessarily doesn't have to do buoyancy because he could just float on a flat plane. So I guess that's a question I could ask you guys because I never st I never straw pulled this with my community of of builders and stuff that I was playing with. Do you, if 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 there was to be a theoretical, and this is all theoretical. It's not. This is not. Not saying this is coming to the game by any means. What I'm th what I'm thinking is this: is that imagine if this thing was all filled full of water, right? There's a big pond here. Okay, would you guys care if the dredge could sink or not? As long as you were able to dig from like a digger on top of a dredge and dig what's underneath the water. Is the sinking aspect in the in the in the machine going up and down with the buoyancy a thing for you that you care about or no? Would it be a deal breaker if it wasn't? Because buoyancy and and stuff like that is extremely difficult to do and pull off. Trust me, I know. I I've I've got it working, but it took me years to do. Yeah, that that's and that's kind of where my my mindset was going on that the sinking doesn't really ma have to really really doesn't have to occur, right? So that in that case it would be actually very easy for him to add in a dredge, a floating dredge or any type of dredge for that matter. Now, the only problem is, is to be able to control water levels, which is also an, another thing that's pretty easy to do. Like for instance, if you built a pit and you put a water pump in you can simulate that water level rising very easily with a pump control you go over to say go over to the pump and hit the pump and just say fill right and then you watch and it's like do, 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 do. water level rises yeah i want to leave you have to go over to somewhere else and hit like a floodgate valve spin the floodgate and the water would go out and you see the water going down that could be easy that's not that difficult to do that's actually pretty easy actually that's actually very 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 easy to do so a few mechanics like that if you're thinking aspects because you got to think of gameplay right gameplay is so important and finding the right gameplay versus taking a shit ton of time because in that case, it's almost better to just build a whole new game and sell it and market it that way, right? So Amanda's whipping something, if you're wondering what the sound is. Mixing something up in a bowl. But that's, I mean, I've already, I've already built that. So I just got to work out a deal with him and, and stuff like that, that works mutually beneficial for both of us. You know what I mean? Like a drag line? No. Uh, it'd be it'd be a dredge. I've I've already built a dredging game, in multiple times, in Unreal learning Unreal. A drag line would be cool though. I do agree. Drag line would be cool. I have not even tried to do anything like that. I've only met I've only messed around with suction dredges and just dredges, like digger dredges and bucket dredges. 
mind you none of the animations and stuff like that worked it just functional it just functioned right there was no animations or anything like that to make everything polished it was all it's all conceptual it works i i've posted massive amounts of screenshots and stuff like that of my game progress But it's all it's all it's all concept, right? So it's not an actual playable game. A lot more a lot more coding has to be involved into getting everything to work. Yeah. Yeah, I, in my it's I've over the years I've posted a crap ton. Matter of fact, if you go to my Discord in the Out of War, if you go to the in Out of War in my Discord, and you go to the Out of War and you scroll up, you'll see a lot of the screenshots that I've posted that I can share of concept work of, of some of the stuff I've been working on over the years. For a while, I had the intentions of possibly making a game, but then I was like, you know, I still have so much to learn. And it was taken away from content creation, which is income for me. So that was, it's hard to balance income versus just doing something while you're learning. It's almost like going to college, but not going to college. It's like uh, it was how it was having a hard time balancing everything out, right? So, I, was, I still learn. I still play from time to time and dink around with Unreal, and learn all these new things and stuff like that. But I am not a coder, so it's it's a little difficult for me to just jump in and say, okay, I, I can't. Sorry, guys, I'm not gonna be able to do uh, do stuff on on YouTube because I'm gonna be too busy just learning Unreal, so I can potentially make a game, right? So. And people, people, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just stream making a game? It doesn't get you as many views as you guys think. Uh, this will be the, this will be the size of the mine, this main mine site, my rock quarry will be this. I'm not going to go into detail on what I'm going to do after this to this mine. So I want to make sure we, you guys are like, holy shit. <laughs> gotta, we still got to keep them maintain the holy shit factor. Keep you guys showing up. <laughs> yeah, that's the Discord that Little just posted. I, I When I reformatted my computer, I lost a lot of my stuff. I just didn't care. Care to bring it, so. But people have been asking me, you know. I, I get a lot of haters going, well, if you can just do it, then, you know, you don't, or you don't know what you're talking about. You you don't build games, or you don't, you know what I mean? The, the, the you don't knowers, right? I know more than you, so blah, 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 you know, that type of behavior. But, um, no, I just, uh, also saw my auto flowers. Yep. What strain are those? Um, hold on. Let me let me go back and look at the picture. Horror channel? Let me scroll up. I don't know which ones I posted it in there. Oh, the, that that picture, the uh, the WW, that was uh, that was actually not an auto flower. That is a strain that I actually did in the states when I was uh, in one of my in one of my many the one with the coffee in the hand. Yeah, that was that was a strain that I that I developed actually it was a cross between um, White Widow and it was a, also crossed with uh, GDP. I was working on that cross for about three and a half years. That, that's an actually a very old picture. I have a lot of newer pictures of some stuff, but I don't, I, when I lived in the States, that's what I used to do. Well, one of the things I did 
as a medical marijuana grower. I live in Canada, which is legal here, by the way, just as a, you know, it's legal here in Canada to grow, but we only do it every once in a while. I try not to go into detail about it because can um, YouTube's passed new stuff about stuff. So we're not allowed to really talk too much about it on, on certain subjects and stuff. So, but I am legal. I do, I do have all my paperwork. I do have everything from when I was then and that was all passed. So, but it's all legal here in Canada. So no big issues here. Yeah, they just went crazy with the whole profanity thing and, you know, YouTube just took their stance and was like, what's up, bro? Get wrecked, nerds. So my mods have to make sure I keep uh, a neutral stance with that stuff, pretty much. So if they if they crack on you guys about talking about the ganj, it's actually something I want to talk about. Was um you know don't don't be like oh that's bullshit you used to talk about it, now you don't guys I have to follow the rules like everybody else. You know what I mean? If I want to continue the growth of my channel and not get blacklisted and stuff like that, it's just the name of the game, right, boys? Like when we stream, we talk about a lot of real life subjects and stuff like that, but certain things we're just not allowed to talk about anymore. Which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is, right? It's no big deal. Like the first, I try to keep the very first two, two hours of the stream solely about the game that I'm playing. And then after that, it's kind of like, okay, now we're just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. It's illegal. <laughs> he can't answer that question. That incriminated himself. Well, a little overkill on the explosives. takes forever <laughs> like a billion explosives or something that's like herps the bounce hat's got herps yeah exactly right like last thing you want to do is is you're trying i mean you being a content creator is hard enough in its own right you know what i mean like getting people to watch your channel getting people to come in and hang out it's hard enough as it is you don't want to make it harder for yourself in any fashion there's so many ways you can just mess it up for yourself you know we just got we just got on the good side of youtube again youtube is happy with us youtube is sending us out to people you, you know how hard it is to make a video 
and YouTube literally sends it to nobody? No one. You you know, you know how defeating that is? When you you put you've got yourself just for just for being an adult content creator, right? Where you you don't cater to little kids, and you're not like every day you're like the the, the dumb dumb show where I'm just gonna be PG PG ten, right? For everything and every video and everything you do and and you're you're constantly kissing everybody's ass just to get by or to make it or we I tried to not be like that for many years, guys. I really did, but dude, that's just how you make it nowadays. And you have to some people would say oh you sold out or you're selling out you know what you don't pay my bills <laughs> like, like some people some of you guys do and that's why i listen to some of you guys right like more than others because some of you guys legitimately help pay bills by donations and stuff like that so yeah when you guys are like split you know come on man like, you know of course i'm gonna listen a little bit more because some of you guys are insane right like it's like you guys are you guys are nuts but the majority of people don't Right, so it's you gotta take a lot of people with a grain of salt. Yeah, you always gotta play by their rules, so yeah, and then you so you got people like Shane. Like my my goal my goal on YouTube is to make enough money to where I can pay the people that that help me day to day. Right. First, first and foremost, right. Comfortable life and pay the people that have helped me every day. Right. Other than that, everything else is an extra. And then it just gets thrown back into content. Right. So to do things in real life, like we're doing in a video game, possibly, you know what I mean? So that's, that's my main goal of being a YouTuber. Like, I don't care about having fancy cars and shit like that. Like I'd rather take the money for a fancy car and go buy a dozer or something like that. Go do something fun with it right or buy an excavator or things like that right so just unfortunately just we just you know it takes time and learning and things like that right so oh trust me I'd, I'd much rather use my skills that i have in real life heavy equipment operation to do in real life like obviously it wouldn't be on this scale because that's massive but even on a small scale it'd be fun Uh, yes, content creation is a, uh, content creation is a, I don't, I don't want to solely have to focus on streaming every day because streaming takes a lot of time. Streaming takes a lot of time and it's a grind. Every content creator will tell you that's a streamer. It's way better for your sanity to not be a streamer because the grind is insane. To get anywhere and get famous or do anything is stupid crazy. The algorithm and everything fights against you as a streamer. And only a was a fraction of a percent or a tenth of a percent make it make a livable wage of doing this. So I, I have to convert and evolve into making videos, which is something I never really have done before. I've done a couple here and there, but I have to I have to do better at doing that. That's why I started just guns blazing when this came and hit and it started popping off. I'm just going to keep running with it because I'd, I'd be stupid not to. Right. So like I, I'm, I'm honest about it when it comes to, like, I don't mind helping people. And, and I know there's a lot of people going through what I've gone through over the years and it's very defeating and it's partially your fault your own fault for the problems you go through as a content creator 99% of the time it's your fault people will tell you otherwise it's not your fault oh yeah just, just, just keep your head up no it is your fault you gotta learn you gotta evolve you gotta push yourself you gotta, nest. You gotta not say stupid things that get you in trouble right so it is your fault you know what I mean don't blame your fault don't don't be don't let don't blame other people for you failing I mean get up and do it again keep trying try something new play a different game you know, you got to keep rolling. You got to keep moving along. Like I stuck in my played gold rush for too long. I stalled out massively. That's my fault. That's nobody else's fault. You know, I, did I try other things? Absolutely. But did they work? Nope. But you just keep going. 
Like, I'm not a massive... Pe people think I'm a massive content creator. No, I'm not, dude. I'm a tiny content creator. Like, dude, YouTube won't give you a representative till 100K now. I thought I thought it was 50. It's not 50 anymore. It's 100K. 100,000 subscribers before they even know you exist. Right? So... He's out here trying to, trying to play and have fun and make some content and... Hopefully that people enjoy, right? Like, what it boils down to at the end of the day, because when you're, and and I that I enjoy, like if I make a video and I'm like, okay, my my somebody might not get my sense of humor and might not understand what I'm doing, but if I look at it at the end of the day and go, I'm happy with that, and that's all that matters. Because if I'm if I'm happy with it, and I'm happy doing what I'm doing, then somebody out there is going to be like minded. Other people are going to be right. They might like it. So that's the way I look at it. And if I'm not happy happy making content, then more than likely, it's going to show. Right? So, you, most likely, they're going to be like, nah. Obviously, the guy doesn't care. So, he's just, hey, guys, today, we're playing this game, and we're going to make a giant this. And you just tell their soul is dead. Dead, dead, dead soul. And sadly, a lot of the big content creators are like that nowadays. And mo and ninety like 90% of those content creators... Like 90% of those big content creators don't even play those games anymore. Their fans, they pay to make footage for them. Then they give it to an editor. The editor chops it down. And then they do a voiceover for it. They don't even play those video games, dudes. They don't have the time to play every video game that comes out and do all their content creation shit. They just don't. That's too many hours. Okay, if... Okay. How many of you guys would call bullshit if all of a sudden you're like, you, you see how many hours I'm putting into this save right now? If all of a sudden I pop up another game and I just started the game, game just came out, and all of a sudden I'm playing this game doing crazy shit on stream, and then all of a sudden, boom, I have another game that's got three to 500 hours into it. Oh, and by the way, next week, here's a video coming out of this game that's two, 300 hours save. It's bullshit. There's no way they think there. There's not enough time in the world for one person to do all of that. And a lot of people get fooled by it. And they're like, this guy's such a God tier player. He's so amazing. He, he, he needs to break this and they need to break that. Dude, they're not. You mean their fans need to do it. He's just the guy putting the voice behind it. So that that's where a lot of people get fooled by YouTubers and stuff like that is they think that those YouTubers, no, 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 no. The other guys are are, are doing it. They're the ones playing the game. Not the actual YouTuber themselves. Most of the big guys, no. You don't have... The, there's not enough time in the day to uh, to do it. Have you seen the new game High on Life? Uh, High on Life. That's the... Is that the Rick and Morty one? Like Little, Little's an extreme crazy builder, right? He builds a lot of cool shit in a lot of games. But Little really doesn't have a channel and stuff like that, right? So sometimes people get enjoyment out of that. Okay, that is the game, yeah. Sometimes people get enjoyment and get a paycheck for building a cool save and then someone like myself showing that off, right? They're not a showcaser. They can build it, but they're not a content creator, right? So that's where that comes in. And a lot of content creators screw people over massively, right? So you're supposed to give people like a portion of your share or what you make. And some people are just like, I'm going to give you a flat hundred bucks, even though I'm going to make 20 grand off of this video. Right? <laughs> like, dude, that's how brutal it is. Like people that make game footage generally only get like a dollar an hour. So you're lucky if you're going to get 200 bucks off of a video. But I like to showcase my content, not other people's. Uh, when it comes to actual, like making like say a series on it or something like that. But that's just, just the name of the game. There's, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's not, it's not, but it's, I just get a kick out of people that get fooled by it. Right. That's what I, that's what gives me a kick. Or, or the, 
make sure this guy does it, you know, because it'll be great content if this guy does it. Well, what happened? Why is it not? Why is it not good content if a little guy does it, like a little streamer or a little YouTuber? So it's not good content if a guy with 1,000 subscribers makes legitimately the same video as a big guy, but it's only cool if the big guy does it, right? That's the mentality of YouTube right now. It's, it's only cool if you have a big subscriber count. Other than that, you're a peasant and get the F out of the way. You're ruining the big guy's content because now maybe a couple people might see that that, that, that person did it first. And it's, it's a horrible mentality. It really is. It's only cool if you have a lot of subs now. That's what it is. You're only you're only making good content if you have a million or a big huge subscriber count. <laughs> As a payment, I try to give him sons of the forest. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in here. But no, keep your heads up, dudes. There's a lot of small content creators making good, good content. You know? YouTube is up and down for me. YouTube, YouTube is the dynamic of being a content creator versus a viewer. Because I am a viewer too, right? Like I am a viewer of content. But my job as a content creator is to not do the same things that everybody else is doing. Like, say, for instance, I watch, like, Dre or something, right? I, I don't all of a sudden want to come out with the same damn video that he does. Why? You know what I mean? Make your own video. Be yourself. Right? Like, and that's the hardest thing with content creation is being original and being yourself. Everybody will look at somebody that's big or famous like Gray Still or those big guys, right? Markiplier, all those big dudes those big 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 crazy names and they're like just they just drool they can't even talk in their presence it's like dude come on bro so if, if a content creator that's small watches those people you're all of a sudden going to hear the same exact words being used and i for me i i don't like that if i run across a small content creator as a viewer we're talking to me as a viewer if i run across that man i generally just don't watch I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go find another guy trying to be original, right? I remember a certain YouTube guy that tried to make you give him his goal, my goal were saved. Yeah, there was a few of them, actually. It wasn't just that one that you're referring to. There was a couple extremely large YouTube creators that were like, we want your save. You have one of the coolest saves. And uh, I was like, well, what are you going to give me? Because I put like 300 something hours into this. I'm not stupid. I know how the, I know how this industry works. And they just pretty much, you know what they told me? We're big and you should do it because it's at best for your benefit. Well, I mean, no, seriously though, what am I going to get out of it? Am I going to get a promise? Am I going to get just a, a handshake? Because homie don't fly that way. I know how business works and I'm not stupid, right? So... <laughs> Unless you're willing to give me something tangible, you can fuck off. I don't care how big you are, and I'm not going to sit there and lick your nuts because you have 2 million subscribers. You know, it ain't going to happen. Unless you're going to have me on your podcast or something like that, talking to your people or something that's actually valuable to me, lick it. Lick it good. You offer me a hundred dollars like you do everybody else. Mm. Nope. What happened? No hail now. Like I don't mind collabing with people, but they got to put that ego bullshit away because it's annoying and I'll, I don't care. Like if I was on a big channel and they sat there and tried to run the I have a million subscribers and you have 10,000, I'm immediately going to tell them to fuck right off. And honestly, that's how YouTube was ran for the longest time. Honestly, and I'm, I'm glad that it's kind of changing because there was a really cringy, sick place that a lot of these creators were going 
and they were using small content creators to make content and i just i didn't like it it wasn't a good atmosphere and it's just horrible way to treat people I know a lot of people that have made content for a lot of the big channels and they've been screwed. Is what I like that? I want a million dollars. Oh shit, right? I mean, some of these big creators, they make like five to six thousand dollars a day. And then some poor kid sitting in his mom's basement, running his paper routes, is busting his ass to make this content footage for this dude. And the guy gives him a hundred bucks after like a two weeks for the recordings. The guy's going to make like twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 off of that footage. And you only pay the kid a hundred bucks. You're kidding me, right? Like that is what the shit. Could you imagine if every content creator could not, they, they, if YouTube allowed made them to where they couldn't buy footage, dude, all these content creators would be screwed. They'd be so screwed. YouTube, we're only taking Mac in we're only taking embedded video footage with your Mac address. Dude, they'd be so screwed. They'd be so screwed. They would be like, oh well, I can only make one video a month now, boys, because I actually have to play the game. <laughs> Rip. Uh, what's up, buddy? Happy New Year, brother. Oh, yeah, dude. Jared, man, thank you much for the uh, sub, dude. Excuse your new computer company. You're going to give it another go. No, I don't, I don't have any beef, but beef with any other content creators anymore. I squashed all that shit. But if they're good, people are going to get offended for me just being honest about it, then they can suck it. <laughs> like, I don't care. I've already been threatened by giant YouTube channels and things like that. I don't care. Like, listen, I have a lawyer too, okay? Like, and they gladly sue you because you have a lot of money for free. So they can get paid. I, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? I've had I've had cease and assist letters sent through the email because I made a thumbnail that was mocking another content creator as a joke. And he sent me some fake ass cease and assist letter. <laughs> he said, I better watch out because this is a legitimate cease and assist letter. And he sent it through my email. Send it to my email, dude. He said it was legitimate. <laughs> he said it was legitimate. <laughs> oh man. But anyways, this topic sucks. We've already talked about this a million times over the years. You wonder what my lawyer says? I have I have an immigration lawyer and then I have a normal lawyer for all my paperwork and stuff like that. Well, actually, technically, my lawyer does both. So they're not just an immigration lawyer. So they said if I ever had any needs or calls to give them a call. So that's what I do. And they said that they would gladly take any case that has to do with YouTube or anything like that because they just do it for free and take it out of what I win. And if I don't win, then guess what? They don't get paid. So yeah, I'll take that deal. They're good lawyers too. Criminal defense lawyers, and they're great at what they do. So I tossed that at them. The 25th of February? Oh, bros. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I, I'm going to have to play that. 
you guys know that I'm playing that hard, right? Like you guys, I hope you guys are into me trying to launch little spacemen into little green spacemen in space in horrible, terrific fashion because it's going to happen. Just want to let you know, I might sit and play Kerbal for like 30 hour sessions. Like when I play Kerbal, I just like blank out the world. So you might hear me drooling while building spacecraft and trying to launch them and stuff like that, but you know. I mean, there's, I, I do like building like wash plants and stuff, but building spaceships is pretty good too. Just don't strand them on the moon again. You know, hey, it, it, it happened, okay? Glenn B with the membership, brother. Thank you much, Glenn. Appreciate that, dude. It's not unusual for split. Hey, at least I made it to the moon, okay? I was I was happy when I heard I didn't know I never knew why you guys wanted me to play Kerbal. And now I, and then I realized it once I actually got the damn game that you guys only wanted me to play Kerbal because it's so freaking stupid hard. If you're a peanut like me. So I'm like, it's not like you could be rocket science or anything. Yeah, it's freaking rocket science, dude. This bullshit is this. I gotta know trajectories. I gotta know freaking <laughs> thrust to weight ratio freaking what the hell is the other one called I got all my freaking fuel remixtures and everything dude my periapsis I gotta know what the other one's the other one called Escape velocities, yeah, dude, all of it, right? Like, I, when somebody's like, "Dude, split," I finally landed on the moon. I was like, well, "That's, it's kind of cool, man." I didn't, I never, I didn't understand. I was like, you know, I just kind of brushed it off. I didn't realize that landing on the freaking moon was actually like landing on the freaking moon. Okay. <laughs> My first time going into orbit, though, with poor Jeb. And then landing, and then come bringing him back home was absolutely epic. Francis for the 34 months, bro. Been a member for as long. Even keep it the great dude, no doubt, dude. Out. As well as Glenn, bro. Thank you much, man. Happy Apple Apsis. Yeah, there you go. Perry Apsis. Yeah, whatever the hell they're called. There's two of them. I was like, I just freaking can't remember what it is. But apparently they've made the game ridiculously easy now. So from what I was being told by a couple of the uh, the alpha testers, like the game is not nearly as hard as is what it used to be. So that's awesome. <laughs> I might actually successfully get to the moon and back <laughs> on the regular, not just like, holy crap. The hardest thing that I had a hard time with in that game was the rendezvous in space. Yeah, so hopefully that's uh is done better or there's a new system for it or something, I don't know. That's a ton of maths. Yeah, dude. Maths are hard. <laughs> yeah, me mech job and a lot of those mods definitely helped out a lot. I used all the realism, like Kerbal realism mods and things like that for it. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. I'm a, it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to crash and burn so many times. So you guys are Kerbal fans. I am definitely playing that. This will take a little bit of a backseat to a lot of the other stuff, but I don't know if I'm actually going to make videos of Kerb of KSP two, because there's so many great KSP two creators out there. And 
I I'm probably just gonna stick to live streaming it to be honest like I don't I don't know because I there's gonna be so many games that I'm gonna be playing and yeah I might make a compilation of like my stream fails when it comes to like KSP but you know, I can't, I can't just be like 20 series at the same time. Let's go. Like, I don't have an editor and stuff like that. So a little bit of a, that's a lot of work. Not many, that many hours in the day. So I just stream KSP. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm just going to stream KSP. Uh, same with Harry Potter as well. Like Harry Potter, Forspoken. Uh, Amanda wants me to binge Harry Potter. So yeah. I did a bit part of uh, Kerbalism back in the day. Dude, they're, it's nice. Those mods are good. Those mods are good. Amanda wants me to binge it quick, so we might have like some Harry Potter, like super mega long live streams. And uh, Forspoken now, because Shane grabbed us that. I know, dude. All the games that I want to play are all coming out in the same week, dude. Oh, it's so brutal. That means I'm not gonna be able to get addicted to just one. That's what the ass thing is. So I gotta smash out Harry Potter and Forspoken as quickly as possible. Or, or I just have Amanda play Harry Potter first. How's that gonna work though? No, we can't because Sons of the Forest is, dude, that sucks. Can one of them just get delayed again, please? Like, I don't know which one I want to get delayed though. Man. No, February is going to be massive for games. Oh, January 4th. Okay, so that one's not getting bumped in. That's this month. Okay. I will definitely have that one. I'm going to need a game change because I'm going to be smashing out of war so hard. So I guess, yeah, Forspoken will be the game that I'm, I'm going to play. So, and then we'll, that won't take me too, too long. I don't think it's going to be a ridiculous amount of gameplay. Like, I don't think it's going to be more than 60 hours. But when I get into games like that, though, I I play them. Like you guys saw when I played Ghosts, right? It was like I was relentless at getting on every day and just I wanted to play it, man. I was into the story. So if the story's good and the gameplay's good, you'll see me play like I'll wake up super early in the morning, get my lunch, breakfast, you know, and I'll, I'll get my, my breakfast and everything like that. And then I'll just jump right on and start playing no matter what time of the day it is, so. Be prepared when I play these console games because I do like to just binge console games. If it's if it's hitting me in the right spot, you know what I mean? If it's not, I mean I hope we can still mod KSP2. I don't see why they wouldn't, because it was such a massive thing, right? But it maybe not at first. I don't think we're gonna be able to mod it, but who knows, right? I mean, I don't see why not. It's just, it's, you know, just another RPG game that's next gen. So I do like wizards and shit like that and magical shit. And so, yeah, it's a little, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little tough in February. So Summer's Now Secret Forspoken came out, even though you just said it at the same time Sons of the Forest and stuff did. 
Now, Sons of the Forest, we might get lost as a community in Sons of the Forest. Okay, so VIP members, get ready. Because if multiplayer is legit multiplayer, and it's not this weird co-op like they're saying, then we are definitely going to be doing a window, a, w, a WL uh, Sons of the Forest, if it's MP like MP was in the normal Forest game. So, Ian, what's up, buddy? It's what? Happy New Year. Damn. Dude, my eyeballs are like having, I'm going cross-eyed here, placing these blocks. Dude, you too, man. Happy New Year, brother. I need to make my chat window bigger. There, I can actually read it. Ah, okay. Beautiful. I went to go get glasses. You know what I freaking want just for an eye appointment now? Holy shit, dude. I was like, you know what, Amanda? I need to get my insurance and stuff like that anyway, so... Let's just wait. And then I found out my insurance is going to take two and a half to three months. Oh, yeah. If Suns is actually multiplayer, you're, you're going to be picking it up? Yeah, dude. Bull Wingle. Hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah, no doubt, bro. He, he was a bull. Yeah, we're getting done with this part here. I'm not going to get into the technical. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. I have to figure that out. How I'm going to how I'm going to bench it down. Because it's it, it drops down the bench layer, so. You know, I might not actually. Hmm, I don't, I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm going to have to design that on my program first. Time saver. <laughs> That's right. You, you guys heard me. I could pre-build some of these things ahead of time with a map builder that I have in Unreal so I can go up like this and go straight up. I could take a picture. Boom. And I could put all my lines in and I'll actually be able to design it ahead of time. Cheater! <laughs> you, you make a bullshit split. <laughs> what do you think? All of a sudden, when you're hunting my lines, you get my lines and everything right. I'll be watching some reruns and all this stuff is coming uh, out around the same time. My plant will be hot and heavy into the power testing. And getting ready for a commercial. Damn, bro. You guys are finally, you guys are, you guys are getting that thing up and going, huh? Yeah, and by the way, he's talking about a nuclear power plant, by the way. Like, legitimately. So, what do we got here? What, what's my next step here? Closing in this. First commercial nuke, nuke in 30 plus years, dude. That's crazy, bro. Don't worry, I'm doing, I'm doing you proper with this build then, dude. See, look. We're, all, we're, we're doing good. I haven't built a nuclear reactor yet, but we're getting there. Don't worry. We have to excavate the site first. Many years to go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got that wall there. I've made it out. Okay, so we got to get this part done. All done. So this all lines up. Everything lines up with the benches now. 
and those benches over there line up to these ones perfectly right so hell yeah dudes never underestimate the reach of the wl i know exactly we have some high clearance bros up in our up in our like <laughs> we have people that work in certain fields that cannot even talk about what they work and what they do and where and how and what they do like there's <laughs> and then and we're not just bullshitting <laughs> i know for 100 percent fact that there's probably somebody that works in something that has to do with anything crazy it doesn't matter there's somebody out there you guys are insane dude you guys do some insane shit that's that's freaking awesome though Someone's got to do it. I'm not going to close it fully because I still want to be able to get up and out. Oops. Still want to be able to get up and out of the out of the hole. So while we're designing, I got to leave myself uh, access. Yeah, you know. Got this down here. Okay, 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 okay. So that's working. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some backfilling. So we'll be bringing this this road out here. It's gonna come over to here. Then I'm gonna have to dump some dirt off to make the ramp go down, which is fine. So we'll do a lot of blending work in here. The main part is getting the rough shape first and we're gonna do the build and then we're gonna be yeah, emergency escape. <laughs> I'm, I'm shot proof, bro. I'm giving myself plenty of room to build in here though. So that's another thing too. I'm, it might seem like it's way too big for no reason, but it's actually for a reason because I want to make sure I have enough room. That's also why I went down a little farther because if I want to be able to run belts under here so I can hide the belts, right? So I can hide them and they can pop out somewhere else or there's, so there's shafts for them to already run in. Right, so when I go to build the actual uh, plant itself or plants, plural. I accidentally made one bench a little too deep. That kind of ran it back a little bit. Like this, this bench is massive compared to like this one or this one, but this bench is the actual layer. Oh, good thing I didn't fall off of that. Jump, bro. This should come out and pop out right here. That's my main thing is once I get the plant up and again, we'll continue to progress this through and blast through this first bench and then eat the whole rest of this top bench off. But the whole mindset's gotta get built first. The whole, this whole structure has gotta get built. It's gonna be insane, dude. There's so many pieces. There's so many pieces to this. I just gotta not get overwhelmed and just start like, Ooh, a squirrel and then just run off into a whole different direction because we've already been doing enough of that so that's why today i wanted to get this uh tunnel done need space to put 360 trommels that's why i wanted to get this tunnel built today and get this road semi done over here which is kind of potatoed out right now so the road now is it's passable right as we saw, I guess I can. I guess I should just run. Let's go ahead and just teleport. Base camp. Now we now we have a passable road to drive down here and get ourselves into the a passable area. It's not it's not like fully roaded out right now, but. 
and we got a little entrance for the time being we'll make this look a lot cooler though this is just basic for now and the tunnel's basic we're gonna add some some uh, other stuff in here to make it look cool but uh like lights and we're gonna add a look like supports in there and stuff like that too so that way that's looking nice we'll fix all this up here make this look cool And then up here, I'm going to be building some stuff. So up here is going to be some new stuff being built here. But the main thing is, is getting this structure from here all the way around to here. Like matching, so it's matched. And I do have I do have plans for the rest of it, but it's just going to take me hundreds of hours to do so. One thing first, <laughs> one thing at a time. First thing was demolish and plan which we already put the video out for that. And then it was figure out what we're doing, when we're, why, how we're doing it and when, where, why, and all that good happy stuff, you know, the logistics part of it. And we know where our mining area is. This is our mining area. So it's gonna go all the way down here, about here. So we're gonna bench down one, two, three, like six, like we're, it's gonna be six benches in total probably right here. So we have all that elevation that's going to go down. And then we're going to build, 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 build. Me, 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 me. And hopefully we have a new map and everything by then. Let's hope. Yeah, the trommel thing should be fixed. So, but I, I do need the space in the plant because it's going to be a lot of craziness going on. It's going it, to, I, I still have to design the rest of that, how I'm actually going to run it. Because it's going to be absolutely freaking dirty. It's going to be dirty. This thing's going to be outputting a shit ton. I'm, I'm going to find a way to fight the lag. I will do it. I will find it. All right, let's fill the rest of this in. What, what is it, about 5.03 right now? Okay. Looks kind of rough right now, but we'll get it. We had her all rained in here and get it working. Oh, I thought I was going to fall off. And is making dinner. Sometimes you just have to spin them, right? No way around it. You just got to spin whether they want to snap in naturally. Boom. 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 And boom. Snapping. Okay. Man, we're coming along. I didn't think I was gonna get all that done today. That's a uh, that's quite a bit. Big progress. So I'll pretty much be downloading this live stream, like I was saying earlier. I'm gonna download the live stream and then I'm gonna cut it all apart and just make a little time lapse. Right, so make a video out of this live stream and time lapse it up. Throw some music on there. But I will be live streaming tomorrow. For sure. So we are definitely live streaming tomorrow. And I'm going to be building onto this. So we're going to be doing some more building. Let's see here. Probably some probably some building excavation work as well. Um, let's see. So we got to finish the wall here. I want to finish all the way to this point here and build this all in. Which won't take me long in that back wall there. And then I'm probably going to come in here and I'm probably going to build... Because I want to mix between excavation work or or machinery work and building so it's not just build this build you know, you're just building the whole time so we're gonna do 
we're gonna come in. So we did a lot, we did the road over on the other side. We built the tunnel. We finished the tunnel out. And I think tomorrow we're gonna focus on finishing this bottom section here. So I'm gonna bench this over, then I'm gonna build the slope that goes down into this down here. That's gonna go down. So we're just gonna we're just gonna build out, and then I'm gonna start backfilling some of this in with some dirt. We'll bring some dirt in here and make a nice little ramp down to a doorway. And the same thing here, we're gonna build out this top deck out to about here, or about probably right about here, this point right here. And then I'm going to bring some stuff in with a rock truck, fill it in and smooth out the ramp so it connects to this ramp here. That's just, and then I'll be doing this, finishing this wall and getting it rolling dudes. Looking good so far. I'm happy with it. We'll leave this here. No point in filling that in yet. Because I have some ideas for that as well. I have to do my measurements to make sure everything's going to line up correctly. So I have to make sure I count. Counting is important. <laughs> Making sure everything lines up properly. So if I build something on this side, I need it to line up with that side perfectly. And then over here and here and here, all these points need to match up perfectly. Right. So that's why this line over here stays. I don't have, I don't delete this. This is my guide on the other side, which lines up with this side perfectly. Right. So it should all be squared off by the time I'm done. And it won't look lopsided and stuff like it was going to be before. So I just had to, that's why everything had to get destroyed in that video. Everything had to get destroyed. But dudes, I think that's it for me today. I think I'm going to go to the bathroom and go hang out with the wife and watch my wife cook. She's just cooking topless. So I figure I'd uh, go do that while you guys are all being quiet for the rest of the night. So chat seems to be about died off. So I'm going to go watch my show and uh, get that all done, bros. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow. I'll post a live stream um, in the morning. I don't know what time I'm going live in the morning, but it will be a lot earlier than today. So come on in, hang out. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Go back and watch those other videos. If you haven't smash the like button, leave a comment too, right? Leave a comment if you guys could. It really does help out a lot. Even if it's just, yo, dude, appreciate it. Or yo, thanks for the video or a one, two pickle in my shoe. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Just, just something. But uh, yeah, bros, I'm, I'm out for the night. And that was a lot of building my brain. My eyes are going cross-eyed. So, but yeah, dudes, have a great one. Be safe, everybody. Like I said, join the discord. Post your pictures of your guys' mind sites and stuff like that. We, you know, we want to see all that stuff, dude. So, Norm, bye. Adam, Little, White. See here. Oz, Shane, Bull. I'm just going up the list. Ian. Let's see. Let's go down the list here of this one here as well, too. So, make sure we didn't forget anybody here today. Uh, Shane with the giant top D of the day. The hundo for uh, Forspoken, dude. Thank you much, brother. As well, always. Grinder for the 20. And uh, Snippy with the 55, 55. Appreciate that, dude. And thank you for dinner, man. I hope you know you're probably sleeping now, so pretty late for you. As well as, who do we have member up here today? El Pomato, as well as, who else do we have here? I know I'm missing somebody. Jehannam. As well as Glenn B. Who else are we missing here? I know I'm missing somebody. I think that's all the new new ones. Dude, thank you guys for all the support. It really does help, honestly. It really does help. So, dudes, thank you guys very much. And, uh, you know, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, bros.